Okay, just make sure this is running on here too. Make sure this is running. can hear me on here okay I think we're live guys I think we're live I think we're live I'm just getting things set up here sorry about the delay there um, sorry about the delay there it wouldn't uh, didn't want to start streaming there so I had to go in and manually start the stream so anyway welcome in everybody welcome into the stream here today let me just get chat here split here on the side so I can take a look at it here but we're currently sitting in Columbia, Missouri right now. We actually targeted outside of the main moderate risk area. We're still in the enhanced risk and we're also in a 10% a tornado risk right now. 10 hatch tornado risk for strong tornadoes this afternoon and evening here. So uh, right now we're just waiting for storm initiation here. Uh, should occur here pretty soon. Um, right now we're dealing with some clouds right now and some, uh, some rainy uh, just just rain, you know coming down right now. So it's a little bit of an interesting look I would say uh, But hopefully things clear out here soon. We should get discrete supercells here uh, Later this afternoon and evening in central Missouri And I think we also might get some very large destructive hail with any of these uh, Supercells that do develop today, but we got a, a big enhanced and we also got a moderate risk down in uh, Oklahoma right now So but yes, welcome in everybody good to see you in here Good to see a Paige, Madison, D-Man, uh, Summer, uh, Kim, Carly, Nate, and just, just try to you know, read some of these names out here. Lisa's in here. Uh, let's see, Diane's in here. Lena. So welcome in, guys. Won't be able to get to everybody, but uh, just letting you know that I'm glad you're here today. Average welcome in. Um, we might head a little bit north. I'm considering heading north from here, um, uh, north of Columbia. So right now we're still trying to figure out where our final target's gonna be. We're just kind of playing middle ground right now in the center of Missouri. But I'm gonna show you guys what we're looking at here today as far as the, uh, the severe weather risk. And uh, we actually have a back-to-back -back moderate risk, guys. Back-to-back -back moderate. So take a look here at this moderate risk for today. We already got a tornado watch down there for Oklahoma. Severe thunderstorm watch for Kansas. There should be a tornado watch that gets issued later on for Missouri here into Illinois for that 10 hatch tornado risk that does extend. So the tornado risk is, is the same across the board. Um, let's zoom in here to the uh, day one outlook here. This is on the, uh, the Storm Prediction Center, sbc.noaa.gov. That's where you find these outlooks here. And if you look at the tornado risk here, you can see it is the same across the board here. So Oklahoma and Missouri has the same tornado risk. That's why we're targeting Missouri today is uh, well, it's not only because of the tornado threat, but it's also in close proximity to tomorrow's severe risk as well. But I think we're going to have a better shot if we do get tornadoes here in Missouri, there's a better chance that we're going to be able to actually see those tornadoes and chase them because the chase terrain down here in southeast Oklahoma is uh, less than ideal. So that's kind of why we're, uh, we're targeting up here. I do think there's a significant tornado threat down in Oklahoma, especially when that low-level jet ramps up. But as you can see, this 10 hatch tornado risk extends all the way back up towards St. Louis here. So uh, the Storm Prediction Center thinks this whole 10% hatched area uh, thinks that strong tornadoes are possible in that region. We're also going to take a quick look here at the hail risk. There was a 45 hatched hail risk and a giant 30 and 50 and a 15 hatch tail risk there as well. That's for significant damaging hail today, folks. So these supercells are gonna be capable of producing baseball sized hail. And in some spots, probably bigger than baseball, we might be up to softball size. So big time hail here today, folks. And then we'll take a look at the wind risk here as well. 30 hatch wind risk, damaging straight line winds are likely in that hatched area as well. The hatched area, by the way, is this black uh, circle with the dashes through it. That's what a hatched area is. Basically means significant uh, hazards. Um, 
We're going to take a quick look at tomorrow's risk here as well. There is already a moderate risk, guys, for Ohio, uh, a little bit of in Indiana there, Kentucky. That might ex be extended a little further west, but we do have a moderate risk in place for pretty much us all of South Central Ohio there. And I think tomorrow could be a real day, real deal tornado day. I think uh, strong long track tornadoes are possible tomorrow and uh, very, very concerned about tomorrow's uh, tornado risk in Indiana into Ohio and then uh, down south. I think we could be dealing with some strong to violent tornadoes tomorrow. So very concerned about that. That's going to be our, uh, but we're going we're gonna to stick to today. We're going to stick to to today for now. But tomorrow is happening. We are going to be chasing tomorrow. So we're going to at some point have to uh, to head east from here and work our way east toward uh, probably Indianapolis or somewhere over there later tonight and get on that significant tornado threat tomorrow so back to back moderate risks here guys this is big time and we haven't had we haven't had a moderate risk yet this year and we have two in a row now so this is a serious severe weather event so definitely heed the warnings here folks today and tomorrow these storms are going to be very very dangerous this is going to be a two-day significant severe weather outbreak and potentially a tornado outbreak so We'll just have to see what happens. Uh, yeah, upgrade, I, we'll, we'll just have to see what happens as far as an upgrade is concerned. But right now, the trend is very, very scary for tomorrow. Just take a nice sip of my coffee here. Uh, see, welcome in, Cali Poppy. Good to see you in here. Um, okay, okay. But let's focus on today's threat here, guys. Let's focus on today's threat. I'm gonna take take a, uh, a little bit more uh, in-depth look here at our uh, mesoanalysis, our satellite, and our current observations here just to make sure we're setting up in the right spot. Right now, there's a lot of cloud cover across the area. See all these clouds here? A lot, a lot of clouds here um, just across central Missouri. So um, not sure the implications on the severe weather risk today or whether we're going to get storms that are going to fire under this cloud cover, but there is a lot of clouds right now. Uh, but underneath the cloud cover, we're still destabilizing pretty nicely. You got 72 degrees there with a 63 dew point, 72, 64, 72, 60, or 70, 63. So we still have pretty good temperature dew point spreads there. So it might, uh, the cloud cover might not fully matter here, but we're just going to have to keep a close eye on this instability values are creeping in here and then you can see where this warm front is on this uh, instability gradient here draped from about st louis all the way back up toward uh, far southeast nebraska there that is going to be your warm front and it's a little bit angled right now actually you can see it's lifting a lot further north here on the west side and that's going to be close to where that surface low is situated so i'm considering heading north from here and uh, potentially working my way a little bit closer to this area right here heading back uh the way i came actually because it, it has destabilized a little nicer there in fact 80 degrees there with a 60 dew point at uh, about saint joe it looks like so yeah it's an interesting setup today interesting setup we're gonna try to do our best here to find the greatest tornado threat here in missouri but like i said 10 hatch tornado risk here and a uh, significant risk for damaging hail here as well and damaging straight line winds so i'm gonna take a quick look at um just take a quick look at mesoanalysis here real quick just make sure we're uh let me get the focus fixed there so you're not just looking at uh raindrops on the window There is, there is some significant tornado parameter here right now. There is some significant tornado parameter showing up here. There's a two right there. Nothing super high, but uh, th there is a some some indication we could have a tornado threat in this area if we do get discrete supercells here. So we're sitting right about here. So we're we're pretty pretty close to where that area is right now. And then we take a look at our vorticity and zero three kilometer cape. Uh, uh, zero three kilometer cape is your low level instability uh that's very uh low level instability helps uh in tornado genesis because 
uh, that's where tornadoes exist is in the low levels so and then a vorticity here that's uh, that's kind of the spin in the atmosphere so uh, when you combine the two together it makes it very easy for that vorticity to get stretched into the vertical and you can see we do have some overlap up here close to that surface low and then if we go plus two we should see a significant increase here yeah see that significant increase here in in the, the red zero three kilometer cape and uh, we got the blues up here along the warm front that is your vorticity so interesting there might be an elevated tornado threat here in and along this warm front that's why i'm considering heading north uh after that right now i think we're sitting right on the warm front but uh, it's going to lift north i believe into the uh the late afternoon and evening so let's go to plus four and see what plus four is showing here right it didn't go it didn't go plus four it doesn't want me to go plus four but anyway there's a quick look at the models for you guys just kind of our latest uh latest guidance here um let's see anything new coming in anything new coming in nothing new coming in at the moment so okay by the way summer thank you for the uh thank you for the 40 dollar uh, uh paypal i really appreciate that summer thank you so much for the support there um Trying to figure out what our next move is, guys. What is our next move here? I think Connor's out somewhere, somewhere east of me. So, like, I don't know where he's at exactly, but yeah, there is something firing up there by St. Joe right now. There are some storms firing up by St. Joe. See that, guys? Just southwest of St. Joe, and we're sitting way out over here. But if it did end up being these cells back over here, we could hop north and then west after them. So we're not out of contention on those storms, even though they're pretty far west because they're going to be coming at us and we're going to be heading at them. So Charlie says he's really smelling some naders today. So yeah, I'm smelling them too. I just don't know where they're at. I just don't know where they're going to be at today. There's a huge area under the gun. So yeah, that's kind of a, a look at our radar here. But I might head a little bit north, guys. I think I might head a little bit north, maybe up towards, uh, Mo I think it's called Moberly. Yeah, Mo Moberly, Missouri. Might venture a little bit north from here just to kind of see because I just wonder what those storms out by uh, St. Joe are going to do. Hmm. Just take a quick sip of my coffee here before I make any critical decisions. Okay. I'm just not sure when this stuff's gonna kick off, guys. It's just, I'm just not sure. We, there was a mesoscale discussion that did get issued a little while ago for this area. I wonder if that stuff to the west is something trying to fire just in this kind of precip. So I might just head up toward, might just head up towards uh, Moberly and just kind of 
I don't know. I might end up just coming back, but I think at the moment that's my best. I think that that's my best uh, my best bet right now is head up that way. So. sure I'm sending my location got it routed. I got it routed. So yes, we are off. We are off, chat. Where to? Moberly, at least for now. Things could change, but we're going to head north for now. This might actually be a four lane, which would be kind of nice. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Make sure to smash that like button while you're in here as well. That's a very easy way to support me. It doesn't cost anything. It's just dropping a like on the stream. But uh, thanks, everybody, for joining. We're just getting started on today's chase, so we've got a long way to go today. It's going to be a long day. It's going to be a long day, and I think things are going to steadily uptick as we go on, but at the moment we're just trying to work out the kinks in the setup. Our current temperature here, at least according to the vehicle, is 71 degrees, so I'm not sure how that matches up with the on-screen temperature, but it says it's 71 here, so. US 63 North right now. Closely watching that storm south of St. Joseph. Got to keep a very close eye on that storm by St. Joseph right now. So at the moment, that's well, honestly, that's probably my best bet right now is that thing up there, but we'll see going to keep heading north from here. Good to see you, Chloe. Welcome in. Jeanette, welcome in. Ariana, welcome in. Okay, so... Yeah, interesting cell up there by St. Joe. AKA St. Joseph, Missouri. Far outside of the target area than I would, uh, This is 
that critical time in your chase where you have to, uh, you got to start making decisions and you want to make sure you're making the right ones. I said the map is down. Is it up now? I just holy cow, zero. Thank you for the twenty gifted memberships. W zero in the chat, guys. Everybody thanks Zero. Everybody thanks Zero for the memberships. Thank you for your support, Zero. people got memberships. I see Madison got a membership. <laughs> Guys, is the map just down, down? Is it still not working? If so, I'll just have to pull over and fix that. around these guys before I pull over and I want to make them have to stop. Oh, it's just gone? Okay. Gotcha, guys. I'll pull over somewhere where I find a good spot and I'll fix it. spot to pull over up here. Holy cow, Proxima. If, if you are in here, Proxima, thank you for the $75 Venmo. W Proxima, guys. Thank you for the Venmo. Holy smokes. Okay. And I got my mom calling me. Okay. Hello? Yes. Yeah, it's it's not working. I'm gonna have to pull over and fix that. But um Technically she could if she could if she could go over there to the computer and she could just open, make sure uh, Radar Omega is open on the computer, like up and open, full screen. Um, it's just, it's just a radar application and it's on the, uh, it's not, it's not too, it, it would just be on like the, main uh, page, the main Windows page. Yeah, it's on the desktop there, so. But if that, like, I can pull over and I can remote it on my computer and make sure it's... Okay, sounds good. Thank you. Alright, alright. Okay. okay, guys, we'll get, we'll get, we're gonna get the map fixing here, or get the map fixed here soon, so... Don't you worry. I don't know why the map decided to, uh, it decided to take a nap, so. I'm just gonna pull off here, actually. I'm just gonna pull off here real quick. 
quick. I'm gonna pull off here, guys, and I'm gonna try to see if I can get this map to work. I don't know if she's gonna be able to do that at home, so I still see a lot of W Proximas, yes, W, big W there. Okay, let me see if I can get it working, guys. One second while I get onto my stream here and yeah, it wouldn't, it wouldn't be a stream if something didn't go wrong. But I see we got 750 people in here, so thanks everybody for tuning in to the stream, I appreciate it. Okay, let me just uh, remote in real quick. Oh, wait. <laughs> okay, sweet. Looks good. She got it working for me. Guys, with the map... Oh, yeah, it's back. Okay, I didn't... My sister did that. <laughs> my sister did that, so... Big shout out to my sister there. It's good, it's good. Let me see if I can call her. Hey, I, I, I actually, I remoted into my computer and I see you, you got it fixed. So it's, it's good now. Really? That's weird. I don't know why it's doing that. Okay. Well, maybe, I don't know what was wrong there, but thanks for fixing that for me. Okay. Yeah. Well, I'll, I'll talk to you later. Yep. All right. Bye. All right, guys, hopefully no more, hopefully no more issues here. Hopefully no more issues here with the stream from here on out. We're working out the bugs now, nice and early before uh, any potential tornadoes may happen. So just gonna flip back around here. back on the highway so yes w sis holy smokes that's a lot of traffic we are not clear guys we are not clear all right we're clear We got to lock in, guys. We got to lock in here. That storm's getting bigger by St. Joe. That could be our target storm. We also have something trying to develop to our southwest right now. We're going to keep a close eye on that, but I'm going to try to play middle ground for now. I'm going to try to play middle ground here. I'm going to get north up towards uh, Moberly and just feel things out. We don't want to botch this setup today. It's a big time severe weather event big severe weather outbreak taking place today do not want to mess this up We're back on the road Heck yeah, a night of victory. Hopefully you're staying safe today. 
Yes, I am. Uh, I'm, I'm in your state today, so. Thank you for the super chat. Okay, we're gonna just make our way north here and hopefully we'll get a better idea of where we need to go as the day goes on. Hopefully things clear up, we get a clear indication of where supercells are developing. Um, we might even have to come back south. I mean, I'm not ruling that out. I just want to play more middle ground here until we things become clearer, literally and figuratively. Let's go Proxima, thanks for the super chat. Heck yeah, Proxima. Thank you for your support today. I really appreciate it. Yes. Big W. Big W. We're going to try to get you guys... Get you guys a tornado today or, or... Or just like a supercell. Right now, I'm just trying to get a... Uh, just trying to find a supercell because... You got you to start with the supercell. That's going to be kind of uh, the requirement for today's tornado threat. If we get a discrete supercell, that's when everything uh, anything is possible. We're going to get giant hail, big time storm structure, and tornadoes. But first, we got to get those supercells. And that's what we're looking for right now is any indication of supercell development. Yes, big shout out to Proxima and all her support. See Andrews in the uh, Andrews in the chat. He's I think he's out. Andrews out chasing today as well. He's further east from where I'm at right now. Um, I was gonna head more out to where he's at, but I decided to hold off on going east at least yet because uh, just things are just things are materializing a little different than what the models forecasted so that's why I decided to hold off and not go all the way east yet instead opting to go north here at least for now and I'm watching that cell to our southwest that is getting a little stronger there on radar that could be a developing supercell there we could have a developing supercell to our southwest near uh houstonia i think is the name of that town so we're gonna work our way down or we might end up working way down that direction we're not headed there yet we're gonna keep a very close eye on that that cell is actually heading directly toward us right now if it were to continue on its uh, current trajectory so we're in great position there Great position. Okay. By the way, summary, you might have seen I, I made you a, a managing moderator, so that gives you the ability to slow chat down, so... Um, you know, if the chat gets really busy, we get like a couple thousand people in here, it would be okay to put that to maybe 15 seconds, but uh, try to keep it, try to keep it 15 seconds or less, because if it gets too high up there, then it's hard to uh, have any sort of conversation, but it might, the chat just might get so crazy at times where it just, there might not be anything you can do, but... That's just kind of how it goes. Just depends on uh, whether we get something today or not. Thanks for putting that in there, Summary. Yeah, my dad is chasing today as well, guys. So my dad is covering the severe risk here as well. He's out by uh, 
St. Joe and Kansas City area right now. He might even be on that storm at St. Joe, so he's also out chasing today, so I don't mind if you guys pop in and out his, his stream too. Show him some support. far north I really want to go, but I'm just going to keep moseying on. Maybe just straight, maybe just to Moberly, which was my original plan. Might just get up there. Thanks for, uh, thanks for deleting that one, Paige. You could just go ahead and ban that guy. That's, that's a bannable offense. So, by St. Joseph right now. A lot of lightning, so keep a close eye on that. Hey, thanks for the super sticker there, Tara. Appreciate that. So guys, I, I don't know what storm, I don't know what storm or where, where a storm's going to develop from, but we do have two areas that I'm really, uh, really uh, keeping an eye on right now. We've got one just toward southwest, and then we got one that's pretty much due west of us all the way back toward uh, St. Joseph, Missouri right now. So uh, that one's pretty far west, so I'm kind of hoping it's not that one and maybe the closer one to our southwest, but just unclear right now which one's going to be our target storm. I think I'm just going to head up toward uh, Moberly, hit an exit, and just kind of, uh, unless something starts to change here, unless, unless something seems to be the play, then we'll keep going. But uh, as of right now, I would, uh, I just want to hold our ground. cut there for a second guys but anyway if you guys are just now tuning in we're tracking an enhanced risk and a moderate risk we're in the enhanced risk area right now but there is a moderate risk to our uh, to our southwest uh, the moderate risk is for very large destructive hail and the enhanced risk also includes a threat for large destructive hail and strong tornadoes so there's a 10 hatch tornado risk this is day one of a, of a two-day significant severe weather outbreak that's impacting a large portion of the central and uh, uh, Midwest, central states, uh, southern plains, up into the, uh, the Midwest region. So we are just getting started here. And it's going to be a wild next couple of days. Or next uh, today and tomorrow is going to be wild. So just uh, give you guys a little, little update there. We're gonna be heading east tomorrow as well. We're gonna be tracking what is shaping up to be a dangerous tornado event in the Ohio Valley tomorrow. Very concerned about that one, so. 
very concerned about tomorrow's risk and also still concerned about today's risk as well. I do not want to discount today's risk. Tom, thanks for the super, uh, the super sticker there and Ray, appreciate that. We'll try, we'll try. Um, but yeah, very concerned about tomorrow's risk. And then today, I think there's still a significant tornado potential. It's just going to be dependent on whether or not we get a supercell that interacts with the uh, warm front in Missouri here. And then in Oklahoma, it's going to be in the evening when that low-level jet ramps up. So we're not going to ignore today's risk, obviously. We still have an enhanced and a moderate risk for today. And I think we're going to get some monster supercells here later this afternoon into the evening hours. So the goal is, is not to lose the windshield today. We do not want to have to go to a safe flight in the morning because we're going to need our windshield for tomorrow. We're going to need our windshield intact. So we cannot be blowing out our windshield today unless there's a strong tornado. That's the only condition that we blow the windshield out is if we have to get on a strong tornado. If there's a tornado, we're just going to have to go in. But other than that, we're going to try to stay out of that hail. Okay, so I think there's an exit up here. I'm just going to take this exit. Take this exit up here. Thanks, Nolan. Um, head up to Mo... Or just about to get to Moberly here. I'm going to take a quick stop. Moberly, Missouri here. So I'm going to take a quick break here. We're going to just go over all the uh, all the data. We're going to take a look at the radar, take a look at the satellite, short-range models, and just try to uh, figure out whether or not we need to uh, adjust from where we're not, or, or where we're at, or go somewhere. So, just going to exit off here. I don't think we're going to be here that long, guys. I just need to take a look at the uh, the data. Obviously, there's not a good way for me to uh, to properly look at anything while driving, so we will save that for uh, for breaks. Get off the road and take a look at stuff. So I'm going to pull in here, and I'm going to see. We're good on gas. I'm not worried about gas. Just pull in here real quick and let's see what the models are doing. Okay, take a look at the radar here. Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys what's happening. So we've got potentially something, uh, we got a thunderstorm developing here to our southwest down by Marshall. You can see where we're at up here with our blue circle. If I zoom out, we also have a storm back here towards St. Joseph. We got a cluster. It's unclear if that's going to go super cellular or not, but that is definitely looking interesting out by St. Joseph right now. So right now, the two areas of interest are going to be right here, this storm by Marshall, and then we have this cluster up here by St. Joseph. They're going to be tracking east, northeast. There's also a warm front that's kind of draped something kind of like this right now. So it should be a warm front somewhere right in here. So we'll just have to see if maybe this storm will interact with the warm front or this storm back up in here. And there should also be some sort of a surface low back off to the northwest with a, and that warm front should be draped out like that. And there should be a dry line, cold front kind of thing on the backside here. So this is kind of our area of interest right in here where I got those dashed lines. Sorry for my drawing. I'm not, I'm not an artist, guys. But that is kind of... Uh, what we're looking at right now, I'm gonna take a quick look at satellite here and see what we got going on. We definitely have an increased area. Ooh, look at that, look at that just big time explosion right there. I might just blast after that or at least keep heading there. Look at this, look at, look at this one going up right here though. See that one's breaking through those, uh, those cloud tops. So we got to keep a close eye on this one as well. 
Really nice moisture pooled here, pretty close to the warm front. So these are our two target storms right now. It's going to be one of these, either St. Joseph or this one that is to the west of Columbia right now. And we're sitting just in front of that. So <clears throat> might even go a little bit further north from here. Just going to have to weigh things out. If it's going to be this storm, we're going to want to blast north and then west and get on that thing. But if it's the one that's coming up to us, we basically don't have to do anything. We can just kind of sit here and wait for it. But just trying to make sure we're making the right decision here take a look at our mesoanalysis here you can see that surface slow see how the wind bars are spinning back up here far northwest missouri that's where our surface slow is located and our warm front's going to be draped uh, out ahead of that let's take a look at our uh we'll take a look at a significant tornado parameter because why not so we have just kind of a broad area here of significant tornado parameter that's where our probably our greatest tornado threat would be right now Surface observation, 7167, 6761 there, 7061, 7261. So pretty consistent across the board here. And then maybe we'll take a look at photographs real quick. Pretty nice photographs there, guys. Look, look, look at this one right here. I like that one. That's a pretty favorable, and that's right where we're at. That's a favorable photograph there for tornadoes and supercells. So, and, and some of these up here are also favorable for tornadoes. So we got to watch this storm very closely because it's pretty close to this environment right here. I do like the way that looks. Going plus two here, you can see it, it kind of have better photographs off to the north. And yeah, got a decent one right there. So we just got to wait and see how this all progresses. <laughs> okay, good to see you, DJ. Welcome in. Navin, welcome in to what's up chat just taking a look at chat here real quick hopefully you guys are doing great Let's see so chat what do you guys think what do you guys think do you do you like storm number one or do you like storm number two which which storm would you go for the one or two Let's let's do like a little little poll here in the chat and see which one you would go for. Let's see, let's see where people's uh, opinions are right now. Say welcome in Desiree, Bill. Good to see you. Cactus, welcome in. I think we got some new members in here, so I think some of these people were gifted members. So. <coughs> weather lovers in here chris good to see you chris let's see we got one two two one two two one one two looks better one okay we got a pretty even split here actually we got a pretty even split here guys okay so we got some differing opinions see who's right it's possible it's neither that's also a possibility i wouldn't even be surprised if something else develops you get good vibes from one <laughs> okay sometimes a cluster is good though that means you know those updrafts can converge into one more powerful dominant storm so i'm not going to rule that out either good to see you sharona Yeah, I would make a poll, but I just don't have a... Uh, I wish it was easier for me to make a poll. I just don't have it set up like that. Flip a coin. Okay. Yeah, I know, guys. I know, I know. I'd, I'd make a poll, but... It's hard for me to do that have to pull on my laptop and do it that way okay just gonna go to I think Ryan Hall's going live here in a couple minutes so by the way guys we're gonna be on Ryan Hall's YouTube channel today as well so 
We will be on there. It looks like, looks like my dad's on that storm. Yeah, my dad's right up on that storm at St. Joe right now, interestingly enough. Oh, severe thunderstorm warning, guys. Look at this. Severe thunderstorm warning here on the St. Joseph storm. So, and then this one's getting stronger here as well to our southwest. So, we ever said one, one just got severe warned. We might head up towards uh towards Macon there. Might head up towards Macon and just kind of keep hedging. We're going to keep hedging. Can always come back south after that one. I think. I think. I'm just. I'm still thinking about it, guys. It's kind of a crucial, crucial time here for decision making. Take a look at our echo tops, guys. Pretty even, actually. Pretty even echo tops, but you got a lot more up here. But we do have decent echo tops on this storm by Marshall. You know, 34,000 foot. And then upwards of 40,000 up by St. Joseph. So what will it be, guys? What will it be? Everybody's got their votes in, but I still don't know what it's going to be. Okay. Maybe we'll bunch of severe warnings down there in uh, Oklahoma already. Already got some big storms popping off down there. Yeah, I think I, I think I think this was this is kind of our target storm. I think our, I think this is more of our target storm that's coming up toward us right now. So that one's north of where I was originally targeting, but I'm still keeping a close eye on that one up by St. Joe, especially if it makes a right turn and follows that warm front. Nolan, thank you for the uh, the super chat there. How much does storm chasing cost? It costs too much, Nolan. Too much. Too much. A lot of bills. <laughs> you got car bills and internet bills and camera bills and hotel bills and food bills and it just all all adds up. But thanks for the super chat. That that helps uh, that helps alleviate the bills a little bit. So thank you for that. Wonder when they're gonna issue a watch, guys. I don't think we have a watch. I oh, there's an MD though. Chat, we got an MD for a tornado watch, likely. All right, chat. Soon, tornado watch likely for this area, Western Missouri. 95% chance of a tornado watch here. Low level shear, particularly for Southwest Missouri, will initially be weak. However, the low level jet will increase by early evening. A tornado watch is likely within the next hour. And then they also say, I'll, I'll read the rest of it for you guys here real quick. Let's see. That all said, the severe risk for 
far eastern Kansas into western Missouri will be increasing late this afternoon into evening. Large to very large hail, damaging winds, and tornadoes will all be possible. So, And that tornado threat should increase with the increase in the low level jet by early evening. Okay, okay. So guys, tornado watch is coming soon. Tornado watch is coming soon. 95% chance is basically just a guaranteed tornado watch. So we're going to be in one here shortly. So get ready. It's about to happen. Keeping a close eye on this storm to the southwest right now. This could be our storm, guys. Guys, this could this could even this could even be our storm. I'm not even going to rule that out. I'm not going to rule this out. This could be our storm. Looks like Ryan Hall pushed his live back to 345. Okay, so we're not on there yet, folks. We're not on there yet. Let me just check. Let me just check to make sure that stuff's all doing. Okay. Just going to double check to make sure my uh, Severe Studios feed is up. Double check, that's all running. Just gotta make sure things are set up for uh, the Ryan Hall stream here at 345. Starting to clear out here, guys, look at that. Look at that, we got a little, uh, little cumulus underneath this cloud cover here, so. And that storm is picking up a little bit more lightning there. All right, a lot of people streaming. Let me just make sure that I am live. I don't see myself live right now. It should be live though. Okay, guys, I'm going to have to, uh, I think my OBS might have crashed, guys. So I am going to just double check that because I don't see my Severe Studios feed up and running here. So sorry about the uh, the issues, guys. I don't know something weird. I don't know something weird happened with my computer. So yeah, it's not open, man. What is going on? What is going on with my computer? Like I really hope that there's not any more issues here, guys. So bear with me. Bear with me, guys. While I try to get this feed up, the uh, yeah, Omega might go down for, or the uh, the radar might go down for a second, guys. So just letting you know. Yeah, apparently both my OBS's crashed, which is bizarre. I don't know why that happened. So, guys, okay. That's 
back up. Please tell me that things are working now, because that would be wonderful. Because I don't want to deal with any more of these stream issues. Okay. Guys, I think we got everything sorted out here. Okay, guys, so we're keeping a close eye here on this cell right here. It's getting more and more lightning. It's coming toward us. We're in a Moberly right now, sitting in the direct path of this cell here. This could be our, our storm. It's unclear if this is going to be it. Uh, we also have the severe warm cluster up by uh, St. Joseph right now. We're going to keep a close eye up on that threat as well. Uh, but... At the moment, we got a cell right here in our target area. Just unfortunately have all this rain here, but there is a bit of a clearing on the backside here, which might be why this is starting to blow up here. Take a look at echo tops. Echo tops are increasing here. 37,000 feet on this storm. And... Yeah, it's looking interesting, guys. Looking interesting. I don't see anything to the southwest right now, so... Wait and see. Just with wait and see. You're looking over in the direction of that cell that's coming in, so you're looking toward that. Make sure the beacon's working. Make sure everything's working here. Okay, heck yeah, okay. What does it say? We're northwest of Clark. All right. Northwest of Clark right now. sitting right in the path of this cell. So if this cell does something, we're in great position for it. I'm gonna show you what it looks like on satellite here real quick. And I'm also gonna get rid of these cape lines because I cannot see anything with all these lines everywhere. See, this is our satellite look right here and you can see our storm just bubble up right there right here you see that that's our storm right there it's looking nice and crispy there on satellite it's breaking through those cloud tops so this might be our target storm we're also still keeping an eye on this one up by saint joe it's the biggest one right now but it almost looks like it's trying to do an overshooting top of some sort right there so we're going to keep a close eye on it uh we got pretty favorable uh 70 63 71 67 69 65 so pretty decent temps there hopefully they uh, get a little bit warmer here and maybe the clouds cook off but uh at the moment i would say this is our target storm i think i think we might have a target storm here at least for now Did you guys uh tornado watch you guys say tornado watch now let me let me check let me check and see if that tornado watch is out. Yep, there it is. All right, guys, tornado watch. We are in a tornado watch, folks. Right? Well, it's actually, technically, we're not in the tornado watch. We're just east of it right now. But there is a tornado watch out. We're in great position on it. We're out east ahead of where these storms will develop. 
It's just a moderate all the way across the board, moderate, moderate, moderate. So the primary threats include a few tornadoes likely with a couple intense tornadoes possible. Scattered large hail, isolated very large hail events at two and a half inches in diameter likely. Scattered damaging wind gusts and isolated significant gusts to 80 mile per hour possible. So pretty, uh, pretty strong wording there on this watch. It's a moderate, 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 moderate watch. It's just, the whole thing is just moderate. So a 60, 30 probability on this watch as well. Uh, let me get rid of some of these tabs. I don't need to have like 15 tabs of the same thing open on here. So yeah, the tornado watch is out guys. I wouldn't be surprised if we get another one later today uh, further east as well, because this stuff's all gonna track east. Will this be our storm? I just do not know guys. Just do not know guys. volume up somewhat on there okay do have an interesting look still in that cell up there by uh, now it's up by Maysville I think my dad's up there on that he's tracking that I'm gonna call Connor real quick. What's up? Hey, what's up, man? Where Where are you at? Um, I'm headed towards uh, Paris, so just east of Cloverly. Okay, yeah. That's. I mean, we're we're like right in the same spot then, so. Yeah, see that little baby storm near Moberly, Moberly, so I was like, yeah, why not go see if it does something funny? Yeah, it looks, if you look at it on satellite, it's it's a, it's a punching above the cloud, so it makes me wonder if there's a shot that maybe it could still do something here. I just am not sure, dude. <laughs> yeah. It's I growing. Going, I thought about going, uh, dropping south on the highway and going to, back towards St. Louis, where it's a little bit more clear, but... Yeah, I, that is, I mean, actually, that is valid. It is more clear down there, down by, like, Sullivan and, and the St. Louis area. I just don't know why there's, like, this, this like, rain patch thing coming in here. It's a little bit, it's a little it's bit weird. Slightly concerning. Yeah, I mean, it's not what I want to see, obviously, but then again, a lot of the models did kind of have something, too, that not maybe not quite this degree, but they did oh, have it. Yeah, dude, I don't know. Actual, like, strata. Here and there. Yeah, I just... Yeah, I, I don't know. It's it's definitely pushing stuff back later, so... Um, so I think our storm finish... I mean, I don't know. I don't even know if these are our storms, you know? Yeah, I'm not sure either. We may need to go back west. I thought about going up toward that... Uh, St. Joseph storm, honestly. I, I was seriously debating on that. Dang. But just because surface yeah. low, warm front, you know, three cape, you never know. Something could sneak could happen up there. We, but we may just have to Hey, Nathan, thank you for the super for, uh, chat. The stuff that come out of that Deductible fun. Thank you for that, empty. Nathan. Yeah, I, nah, I know, I know, I agree. Um, yeah. It's just Are you, a, are you live? Yeah, I'm live right now. Yeah. Yeah, I'm live. I didn't know if you, know if you held off even more. There was nothing going 
I thought about holding off, but I was like, yeah, I don't know. Like, maybe this thing's going to pop to my southwest, so, you know, you just never really know when it's best to go live or not. I also just felt like I didn't want to keep everybody waiting because it's like, well, you know, 50 people in there, you know, it's like. Yeah, it's like they're waiting. Yeah, I don't want to, like, then push it back an hour or so. Oh, hello? Hello, hello, hello. There yeah, you I go. Went through, like, a little, I went through, like, a little, like, river valley there. I dropped, like, 100 feet, and, like, instantly, so. Interesting. Okay. So you're you're st- yeah. you're out in the boonies right now. Yeah, I'm out in the middle of nowhere. Service is terrible. But I don't know. I might not even be live right now. Honestly, dude, I'm, like... I don't even know. They just threw like a big tornado watch for West Missouri, uh, so right in front of me. there's literally a cell tower right in front of me. How about <laughs> it's the it's the wrong uh, wrong provider? Yeah, maybe we'll move to the Verizon tower, so maybe I am still alive. But all I know is I have one bar of LP on AT and T. So nice. I don't even know, I don't even know how I'm meant to call. Yeah, I don't know either, but I'm probably about to lose you here any second. So. Wait, hello? Uh, hello? Hello? Okay, okay. Yeah, I, th- I thought I lost you. Um, <laughs> honestly, dude, I just, I don't know. You're just going to have to sit and wait, I think. I mean, I even am debating just blasting west and maybe something happens over there or going after that. Because it, it did destabilize in northwest Missouri, and that's where that cell is. And there, I mean, there's a backed, there is a backed kind of back surface wind up there heading toward that storm, like 71, 67. So. There we go. I don't even know. <laughs> don't know what the best move is here. Uh, I don't know either. I'm probably the basic thing looks cool anyway. Yeah. You think I'm going to make it? Um, Dude, your, your service is terrible, man. <laughs> Dude, I know. It's just in and out right now. But. Yeah. Anyway, well, I might I might let you go because like I can only hear like fifty percent of what you're saying, so maybe less. But is it getting better? I heard you there. Yeah, it should be getting better. I got three bars again. Oh heck yeah! Okay, now now you might be cooking actually. So loud, loud and clear. It's seventy sixty one where I'm sitting right now, according to this. Uh, this mesonet, but it says 68 on the car. I think it's a little colder than what it says on the thing. But my car says it's 66. So 71, 67. There, 74, 62. Due south of that supercell up by, or I don't know if it's technically a supercell, but that cell up there by uh, St. Joe. So clearing here, seeing help us. Okay. We we'll just have to wait and see. <laughs> just have to wait and see. I mean, it's just it. Th- this is the most brutal part of the chase right now, where you're just sitting here waiting for something to happen, and you just don't know if it is gonna happen or not. So. Just have to survive it, and if and I think we will get stuff that'll fire later at some point. I just don't know what time that'll be. Uh, Definitely gonna fire. It just might be a little bit delayed now. Yeah, it, it's definitely gonna be delayed. I I want to say, is there something trying to pop? There was an attempt. It looks like south of that St. Joe storm. Something tried to pop over there too. Is there any sort of clearing working its way in? I'm, I'm literally about to pull over and look at satellite. I mean, there's like there is some semblance of a clearing. Like it, it's still there's still clouds, but they look kind of like thin down by like KC area so maybe there's a shot that that environment works its way up into here and we actually get some you know more robust convection but it has cleared out just a hair on the back side of this little cell that's coming up to where I'm at right now it is just a just on the like it's a very narrow corridor where it, it's attempting to clear out but the storm is not looking as good as it was so let me look at our satellite here, chat. Something trying to pop. Uh, yeah, there's something maybe trying to pop northeast of KC. Yeah, KC is probably not in the cards for me, but 
could do it. Well, if it if it's popping northeast of KC, it's gonna track. Yeah, bro, this thing looks like it's going crazy on satellite, but it's like doesn't. Even yeah, I know. It looks radar. great on satellite, and then you look at it on radar, and you're like, what am I looking what is at? This? Yeah. Big hailers right now in like Oklahoma. Yeah, see that. It's like there's some CU trying to develop near St. Louis right now. Interesting. See, I mean, that's what I'm interested in. If it looks I'm like interested. something will happen over there, I I'm, I will just go straight down to Columbia and blast east. Yeah, I might. I I think I'm gonna get towards that highway. That was my original plan before I saw this stupid little cell. Good I-70. Sit, sit on the highway, so I might just go back to that. Where's that CU you're seeing? Let me. Um, I mean, it's just, it's just cumulus. It's, it might be too far south. It looks like it just it actually just got like eaten by the giant field of stratus that is going over our yeah. entire warm sector. It does look less. I don't know, bro. I don't even know what I'm trying to. I don't know. Just have to wait, watch radar, satellite, see if something pops, but might join you down there on the interstate if I can't come up with a better idea up here but yeah I'm gonna go to Kingdom City heck yeah I think right along the interstate so gotcha well maybe see you there maybe not good luck man hey I appreciate that dude I'll I'll get back to the stream here but yeah good luck dude and I'll probably I'll probably see you here later later tonight so yep alrighty alright take care man Yeah. All right, bye. Ah, guys. Guys, we need something a little more definitive. We need something a little more definitive here. So we, we're getting rain. The edge of the supercell, or I shouldn't call it a supercell. It's not a supercell, guys. I'm just so conditioned to calling everything a supercell. The edge of this thunderstorm is impacting us right now. See, good have you in here, Bucky. Reckless. Um, you can tag me on Twitter, uh, there, Reckless. Big cluster off to the northwest. Let me call my dad back here. Hi, where where are you at? Uh, we're just east of uh, I don't know Warrensville or something, whatever it's called. Okay. What, what's your opinion of so our one storm kind of did a left split with north? What do you think of that northern storm up there? I think it's the biggest storm in the state right now. Um, okay. And, I mean, it's got the t- best echo tops. It's got about 45,000 foot echo tops. So, I mean, I wouldn't rule anything out. It's up on the warm front in that triple point zone. So, it might be a play that's worth considering. Okay. That's I'm why I turned around I'm about five miles from the interstate, which takes me right up. Yeah, so I mean, if I were in your position, I'd maybe just stay with it and then watch the cells to the south. You can always come back south, but it's harder to go back north, so play the top down approach. Yeah, there you go. But I don't know. Right now, I'm trying to figure out what what I'm going to do. Because I'm just in this rain right now. Yeah, the tornado watch for all of western Missouri right now. So it's, uh, I think as things, you know, there's another MD out or um, something. Okay. But, uh, you know, 
as the afternoon wears on, it's just not even four o'clock yet. So. Yeah, it's still very. It's still not four o'clock, so it's still early on in the event. It's just you just like to see something that tells you where you need to go by now. But I got gotcha. you. Anyway, I know. I stream cut there for a second guys but it should be back got a nice looking high base storm to my it's my south tracking up this way but I'm gonna get on the interstate punch north because the tail end Charlie part of that northern storm looking really good. yeah okay The tail end, Charlie, of that northern storm. Yeah. In the back. Oh, I do West see that one. Yeah, I see that one. Maybe, maybe it's did something there. Yeah, I'm considering heading north. Still, and just seeing if maybe that stuff to the west can get going right now. I just... Just kind of stuck in a no man's land at the moment. Yeah, a little bit of no man's land, but you're not. Dude. It's coming your way, so as the night goes on. That cell's going to keep tracking east there. More cells trying to pop up by uh, maybe south of the one you're on up there. Maybe one of those could be a, a good storm to get on. Just gonna take a look at the, uh, see if there's like a new uh, model in right now and see what. All right. Chat, we're trying to figure out what we're doing here. Okay, so there. What the hell? Yeah, there's a lot of parameters just kind of all over the place, kind of where we're at right now. Excited that one. Now so. it's severe. That's. More cells popping up to the north. Just take a look at mesoanalysis here again and see if there's any sort of sign of stuff forming here. So, photographs look better kind of up there. Okay, well, Dad, might let yeah. you go so I can focus on the stream and just and this stuff All here. Right, so, for, uh, thanks for calling back. I yeah. Just your opinion on that northern storm. Yep, I think. I mean, I, I don't know if there's any better play than that right now. So. Like a cut on this storm here. It's kind of weird. Yeah, I might come up to you actually. I don't even know yet. So. Okay. Well. Oh. Hope so. Look forward to seeing you. Yep. I'll I'll talk to you later. Be safe out there. Good luck. All right. We'll talk later. Thank you. All right. Talk to you later. Yep. All right. Bye. Okay. So, so chat. We're kind of in a uh, we're kind of in a hard spot right now. We're just we're in the middle of we're in the middle of Missouri right now. We got storms. We got a lot of storms but nothing that looks super impressive yet. See where we're at? And we're just in this rain, and I'm not a big fan of this rain that we're sitting in right now. I'd love to go somewhere else, but I don't know where that would be. Uh, we are watching these cells off to our northwest. These are our best storms right now. 
The reason I haven't left yet, and ooh, look at that. Little little velocities, maybe. Might head after that cell and just see what happens. That looks interesting right there. And there's a decent way to get on that, actually. If we were to... Uh, and let me let me pull chat back up into here real quick and just make sure we got chat going. So we're gonna I'm gonna animate that and kind of see how that's developing. Yeah, keeping an eye on that that little cell right there. Everything starts small, guys. So everything starts small. You can see this was our cell that we were looking at here, and it just kind of shriveled up. It was not Storm 2, guys. It was not Storm 2. There's Storm 1 still ripping up their Severe Warren, but I'm afraid that might be too far north. But I'm liking this one right now. I'm keeping an eye on this one. Take a look at the Echo Tops here. Nothing too big yet, but I'm liking the way that's looking at the moment. We might head after it, and let's see if we can get an idea of where it's heading, because... I don't know if it'd be best to just head straight west from here. Yeah, it'd probably be best to just head straight west towards like Brunswick or something if we were going for that cell right there. A lot of things to consider here, guys. A lot of things to consider. This is the story with the cloud cover right now. Just extensive cloud cover going here. But let's pause this on the last frame. And you can see we do have some some breaks or at least some lighter areas in the clouds and back towards KC you got maybe even some some blue sky coming in back here and you can see our storms there's one there one there one there this is the one that's coming over us right now but watching this area back off to the northwest for a potential target but look at all these clouds it's just clouds everywhere so we're going to see if we can find something in these clouds. It just makes it harder. <laughs> it just makes it a lot harder. A little bit of a... Uh Almost like some mini rotation on this cell right here so keep a close eye on that one because I am ready to pounce on that storm if it starts to give a, a look that that could be our storm I don't think we're too terribly oh we are we're kind of far we're like we're like 70 miles from that storm but it's heading east and we'd be heading west so we should be able to get on it within an hour if it really started to go. But I just don't want to commit yet, guys. It's early. It's 4 o'clock. By the way, guys, I have tomorrow's stream pinned at the top of the chat. I got tomorrow's uh, stream pinned at the top of the chat. Uh, I think tomorrow's going to be a big time tornado event in the Ohio River Valley. Very concerned about tomorrow, so make sure to uh, to head on over there and hit a, hit hit the like button, turn on notifications for that stream. That's going to be a, a can't miss stream tomorrow, and uh, hopefully things don't get as bad as the models are showing right now. But it could be a very dangerous day tomorrow. That's what's pinned at the top right now. But anyway, we're going to stay focused on today, though, because our, our, our chase hasn't even gotten started yet. It really hasn't even gotten started yet today. So we are still in store for tornadoes here in Missouri, a couple monster supercells, damaging hail, all possible here going into the evening hours. I think our threat just shifted a little later because of this cloud cover. It's keeping a cap on the environment right now so we're waiting for a little more destabilization so thank you mods appreciate ya
I see Levi's in here. Good to see you, Levi. I saw your message earlier. I just didn't get a chance to respond to it, but good to see you in here. You like the one at Knoxville? Knoxville. Where is Knoxville? I'm trying to figure out. Where the heck is Knoxville? Missouri? Knoxville, Missouri. Anyway, I don't know where Knoxville is. But anyway, you like the one down there. Okay. Ah, man. I'm just debating about heading back northwest after those. Because that's really my only, like, signature or sign of anything really going right now is to the northwest. It might just be obvious, but just trying not to bite too early because this was my original target was more east today. So just don't really want to mess this up. <laughs> Appreciate that there a little. might be the play to go that way. I just don't want to bite too early, guys. Just don't want to bite too early. It says it's 75 on the other side. Are you kidding me? There's no way it's 75 or 79 on the back side. Are you kidding me? It says it's 80 down there. What? Under these clouds? Are you kidding me? I guess, I guess it's still destabilizing, so... Yeah, the clouds might not actually be impacting destabilization too much here. I mean, it says 79, 76, 80, 77, 76, 79. Are you kidding me? That is still pretty hot, guys. North Ray County, Missouri, gotcha. Mm, I'm starting to like the look a little bit better on that western one, guys. Just keeping a very close eye on things here. Okay, so we'll just do another little radar look here. Here's our cells. See where we're at right here. Liking this one right here. It's kind of got a nice elongated look to it. I think that could go super cellular if it gets stronger and that could pose a tornado threat. And we're in prime position here to head west up towards, uh, head out towards like Brunswick and we could get right in front of that thing. And then we still have this cluster off to the northwest. I'm just not sure that's going to be in the right environment to do anything. A little, little rotation up there, up by Bethany. But at the moment, I'm liking the way this one's looking here on radar. Liking this one. Yeah, <laughs> go west. We might, we might. These are the cells down there in Oklahoma and Kansas right now. To me, it looks like these are already going outflow dominant. So I think the tornado, and there's still probably a tornado threat down there, but I don't think it's super high with those cells. 
don't like the way Southeast Kansas looks here. I think our best bet is probably this cell right here. It's the best looking thing I can see, at least for the time being. What do you guys think? Do you guys like this storm near uh, Bramer and Cowgill? Because I'm liking it right now. It's just I need to get a little more confirmation. I saw somebody in the chat said wait for more confirmation, and I tend to agree with that. I think it's best to just kind of wait a moment here. and Patience, guys, patience. It's all about patience sometimes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Seems like more activity. Time to intercept me. Thanks, West. Agreed. Yes, yep. Okay. You guys like it. I know you guys are probably getting antsy. You guys want to see something. I'm getting that way too. I really want to just go after something, but... Gonna hold off here for a few more minutes and watch each scan. If it looks like it's gonna it's going up in the next scan or two, I'm gonna head west. If it goes up in the next scan or two and it keeps increasing in intensity, I'm gonna head after it. But I just wanna I just wanna know for sure. Yeah, hopefully the location's updating, guys. Remote, Moberly. Moberly, Missouri. That's what it, what it should say. Ah, come on, give us, give us a good indication. Give us an indication of where we need to go. There might be something trying to develop to our south, too, guys. Let's rear our head a little bit. Let's rear our head a little bit here. Okay. Let's not fi fixate on just one area. Something trying to develop south of Jefferson City. See, we're here. And then there's that right there. So we're going to also keep an eye on this. It does look like something's trying to pop, and that would be not seeing a whole lot echo tops wise right now, but I think that's where there was a little more destabilization, less rain down here to the south, so we're going to keep a close eye on that. If that were to go, it would be heading towards St. Louis, so we're just going to keep a close eye on that cell as well there, but back to the one to our west. Still not seeing a uh, clear indication of what it's trying to do here. Echo tops are still about the same. It's just kind of maintaining strength right now. I can't tell if it's getting any stronger or just staying the same. Then there's those cells to the south. See, why did I pick Missouri? I picked Missouri today because at least initially I thought that we might have a, a pretty similar tornado threat here in Missouri. And I thought we had a better opportunity to see the tornadoes, better uh, chasing network here. Uh, I didn't like the, uh, the terrain where those tornadoes were going to be down in Oklahoma. So it would be southeast Oklahoma where that, at least where I think the, the best potential is down there. And southeast Oklahoma, there's a lot of hills and forests and, uh, and even mountains down there. So decided to just gamble on the Missouri risk. And then it would also put me in great shape for tomorrow's risk, which 
is going to be very uh, substantial by the looks of things. So that is why I opted to stay in Missouri today. Weighing out the pros and cons. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, just got to just got to be patient, guys. Still keeping an eye on those cells that are going to be heading up toward uh, St. Louis that are trying to develop down there. I'm going to go take another look here at our meso-analysis. I do kind of like where that cell is firing, heading toward... So there's some cells trying to pop down in here, and there's a decent little overlap there of 03 cape and vorticity down there on the southern side, because I think that warm front's kind of draped a little more south here from that convection. And then up in here is where those cells are popping in the northwest. They both have 03 and vorticity where they're at. Take a look at the photographs here. Not the biggest fan of the photographs in that area, but this is just a forecast model here, so it's not 100% accurate. I do like the photograph where we're sitting right now. <laughs> I really like the photograph there. It's just right now we're just not getting good destabilization where we're at. Interesting. West Storm. Just going to animate it here. It seems to be kind of clearing out around that. It seems like it's clearing out as this West Storm keeps going. Right there. See how it's kind of cleared out around it? on the last few scans there, that precip that was nearby is clearing out. That might help that thing get a little more established. So we're gonna just, all, you know, just keep an eye on it. Just trying to see if there's any like indication of rotation developing on it too. And then we got these little cells here trying to pop a little cluster down here due south of us to see how far away that is about 75 you know maybe about 75 miles south so if we were to go for that we'd just drop down to columbia and blast east so we'd just do kind of a maneuver like that so that could be a play as well we're just gonna have to keep waiting here and see which storm is going to uh look to be the one right now i'm now now i'm torn between this one and that one and we're like right in the middle sitting right in the middle guys so oh man just want to be on the right one Not sure which one the right one's gonna be. A difficult forecast, guys.
maybe we can get some uh, some hints here once again just like kind of looking at satellite I'm gonna disconnect this from I don't know why this is hot spotting we don't we don't need to be hot spotting to the iPad in the phone here for a little bit. Okay, so here's our sat I think this is our latest satellite. I don't even see the cells that are showing up on radar down there. Is that 2421? 24, 11. Is that what time is it? I guess it's like four minutes old or something like that. But uh, there's that cell to the west that we're really watching closely right there. And then somewhere down in here is where that new cluster is trying to develop. Interesting. More cells popping down here. Gosh, well, bear with us, folks. Bear with us here. We're going to have to kind of wait this one out. So if you guys got to... You guys got to go get some popcorn or something or, you know, just, just stick around. Just got to play the waiting game for now. And then things hopefully, at least for us, heat up around, you know, maybe maybe an hour from now we'll actually have something going on that we can uh, we can go after here. Keeping a very close eye on those cells to our south because those could really become something. They are looking stronger on radar here. Okay, guys, I'm gonna run into this. Uh, I'm gonna run into this gas station real quick. I think I'm gonna run into this gas station real quick, and we're just gonna do a little uh, little pit stop here. I'm just sitting at this gas station, so I'll just top off the uh, top off the old tank. Just do a little little restroom break and all that. Just kind of get ready. There's a chaser there. I guess this whole time I've been. Oh, he took my spot. Are you kidding me? And that one's out of service. What? I just got scammed, guys. There should be one over here that's open, though. Let me go for this one right here. Right on the edge. this one right here all right i'm gonna run in real quick guys gas up get back out and hopefully by the time we do that we know what storm we need to go after echo tops going up on that southern one so all right hang on guys give me like three minutes
break out soon. Alright, time to break out some trail mix, guys. Trail mix, some water here. Let's just, let's figure this out. Alright, we got a pretty good signature there, guys. Something's blowing up down by Jefferson City. We might have to head back. We might have to drop down on that cell, guys. Yeah, guys, we're gonna head down there. I think, yeah, I mean, that's... I, that's my best bet right now is like, I think it's going to be maybe these cells heading towards St. Louis here. So I think we're going to drop back down to Columbia because this cluster could get it done here. I think there was a new mesoscale discussion for a brand new tornado watch guys that just got issued while I was in there. Let me pull that up real quick for you guys, but I believe we got a brand new mesoscale discussion and it does include those storms to our south so i think might just commit to those cells at least for now can come back later tornado watch likely chat look at this tornado watch likely for this area includes st louis st louis is in the middle we're on the far kind of western fringe so we might drop down the i-70 and blast east Severe potential for storms to increase in coverage and intensity within the next two to three hours. A tornado watch will need to be considered. 80% chance of a tornado watch. The environment is supportive of a large to very large hail and damaging winds. The tornado threat is expected to increase this evening as low-level shear increases near the boundary. So, uh, while current wind profiles are not overly supportive of tornadoes, storms will be near the warp front and low-level shear should improve this evening. 850 millibar winds increase given the background environment a potential evolution of this activity tornado watch will need to be considered so looks like a tornado watch might be coming here soon for that area east central missouri into illinois there and we do have storms that are trying to fire oh yeah that's a pretty strong signature of storms firing guys we got to get down there time for me to stop looking at this and get moving because we don't have a whole lot of time. So we're gonna take one last peek at our old storm over here. Don't look particularly great at the moment. We're gonna head after these fellas down here. We got some new kids on the block. I'm liking the new kids on the block. These could be our storms. So I'm gonna get going. Let's just route us down there. I'm gonna put in like, I don't know, like new Florence in. I think I'm gonna just put in like New Florence, Missouri. And that should get us somewhat down that area. Yeah, they're 81 miles. We gotta get going, guys. We wanna get on those cells, we just gotta get going. So it's time to get on the road. And hopefully it's just gonna be one of those things where we just figure this out just in time. But I don't wanna mess around too long here. So it's gonna take us back down toward Columbia. Got my trail mix here. Ready to dominate, guys. Ready to dominate and lock in. Nice trail mix here. Here's our snack. Make sure our focus is set here properly. Let's get these storms, chat. Get these storms. Walmart might have like the best trail mix, by the way. I, I love Walmart's trail mix.
Yeah, they're popping down there, guys. South of Jefferson City, Missouri, is that's my target right now. Heading east up towards New Florence and eventually toward the St. Louis area could be my target. Fortunately, if this stuff really goes, St. Louis is going to be under the gun for these storms. So not the best look as far as St. Louis is concerned. it does not do anything too crazy. But we got to get down there in case it does. Pretty good signature there on radar. machine hat put on the mystery machine hat let's solve this mystery guys by the way I got this hat from Crackle Barrel last night so excited to, to wear it business guys if these uh, if these cells down by Jefferson City end up going we're gonna be back in business we're in great position to get down there ahead of them Then we get on I-70, we blast east. So it sounds like a new tornado watch is going to be coming for the St. Louis area, east central Missouri, into southern Illinois. And that is our target right now. maybe heard me say this before but I've always liked clusters I've always liked it when storms initially develop in a cluster and what I like about clusters 
is instead of a single updraft, you have multiple updrafts. So when one of those updrafts starts to go dominant, it pulls all the other updrafts in around it, and that can result in rapid intensification. And oftentimes, at least in my experience, the, uh, the best storms I've chased and tornadoes, they've originated from uh, clusters. So you got to, uh, sometimes you just got to, they got to all converge together and work together because one on its own might not be enough to get things going. But multiple together can overcome the cap and really turn into something significant. So. take another look back at that storm that we're kind of leaving right now just to make sure we're not running away from nah we're yeah guys I we're not running away from anything guys that does not look good behind us I think we're making the right decision here I think we're making the right decision here it might take some time for this to organize and for that tornado threat to increase in this area we got to wait for that low-level jet that the Storm Prediction Center was talking about there, those 850 millibar winds. We got to wait for that to increase. But once that happens, our tornado threat should be on, especially with this st these storms down here as they work their way closer to that boundary. But I do apologize not being able to read chat a whole lot. You know, I try to read as much as I can when I'm stopped, but you guys know the drill, you know out driving you just can't really read chat so but every once in a while I do see some of your uh, messages though so I appreciate you all for for chatting away I'm trying to get you guys something here I'm trying to get you guys something I didn't, didn't, didn't bring you guys out here for nothing and I didn't come out here for nothing either I came out here to see something so let's go accomplish our mission here go catch ourselves a storm. I mean, we're at an enhanced risk after all. There's moderate risk down in Oklahoma right now. We ought to be able to get something. Let's go get something. Hopefully Columbia is not too slow at 430. I mean, it's going to, yeah, it might be kind of slow, but hoping to avoid St. Louis at rush hour, guys. That would be rough. Really hope we're not dealing with a St. Louis 6, 7 o'clock storm. Might have to try our best to avoid St. Louis. Hopefully this thing doesn't go to St. Louis. Hopefully it goes, maybe it'll go south of St. Louis, but... Right now, this cluster is in a position where it might just track straight to St. Louis. Yeah, the Firestone tires. Heck yeah. Yeah, I got, I got Firestone tires on this thing, so just got them all seasons. So coming from uh, cheap Walmart tires. These uh, these Firestones feel a lot nicer. I just feel like it, they just grip the road a lot better, especially in the rain. Like I've noticed a drop in hydroplaning, pretty significant drop in hydroplaning. They just do a great job in the rain. So not sponsored by them, but it would, wouldn't mind be sponsored by them. You never know. You can always dream. I will say, if you're a storm chaser, not even or not even a storm chaser, you don't have to be a storm chaser for this to apply, but especially if you're a storm chaser, definitely try to get a nice set of tires. And if you can't get enough for a 
and also try to change them. <laughs> change them before they start getting bald because, you know, having a good set of tires can save your life. best things you can do for safety. Yeah, chat, liking the way that's, it's still liking the way that's looking down to the south and southeast of Jefferson City there. Echo tops continue to go up. There's even a cell back west that's starting to go up too. I'm liking the way it's looking. Just gotta get down there in position on these cells. Hope I, I know the terrain's not too great once you get south of I-70. So fingers crossed we can find a decent area to chase this thing, but let's see what happens. There's a storm chaser. Guys, we're getting passed by a storm chaser from Michigan. It's gonna show us how it's done. Yeah, this would be ideal. If this one down there gets going, this would be ideal because these storms are gonna track us even closer to tomorrow's severe threat, so. In case some of you are wondering why we're not in Oklahoma today, I know there's a, a really nice risk down there. We've got a strong tornadoes and very large damaging hail. I think damaging hail is actually the, the more prominent risk down there. Uh, but the reason we're not down there is a couple reasons. One, the chase terrain. Bad chase terrain in southeast Oklahoma. There's hills, mountains, bad internet, bad roads. So it's tough chasing. Two, timing. Those tornadoes might be after dark, late. Later timing on that threat down there in Oklahoma. It's going to be southeast Oklahoma. And three... The next day is a can't miss chase. We cannot miss tomorrow, guys. Tomorrow is a cannot miss chase. We have to be there. And Oklahoma, <laughs> even though it's doable, Oklahoma all the way up to Ohio is a heck of a haul. That's a heck of a haul, guys. So that's kind of our reasoning there of why we chose the Missouri target because Missouri is much less of a haul over to Ohio for tomorrow's significant tornado threat. I think tomorrow could be a tornado outbreak. It's possible. It's on the cards. So very concerned about that threat. And I also think we might get a daytime tornado here. I think it's still definitely possible we get a daytime tornado here in Missouri in a more chaseable road network. So it's a gamble. But it was a... Uh, it was an educated gamble. You know, it wasn't uh, wasn't like we uh, we just didn't have any reasoning. So we'll see if it pan we'll see if it, uh, it pans out, guys. You just never know. It's part of storm chasing. At some point, you just got to make a decision. You never know if you're right or wrong. Only time will tell. All right, buddy. If you're gonna, dude, just just pass it, buddy. <laughs> Why are you going to pass me and then you're going to go 65 next to the semi? Like, are you kidding me? Road rage, guys. Road rage. I need a road rage emoji. I feel like that'd be kind of funny. All right, dude. going to speed up as soon as he gets around the semi, which makes zero sense. Yeah. 
<laughs> I can't. I kind of like the idea of a road rage emoji, even though it's not a good thing. It don't. It's, I don't encourage road rage, guys. Don't do it. But it is kind of funny. Do not road rage, chat. Don't do it. It's not worth it. their page. Appreciate you Mod Squad and everybody else that's helping with the stream right now. Thank you. Might take some time for this to develop, guys really get going down here, but that's actually good for us, because it's going to take us a good hour to get on this thing, so it's a good thing for us if it takes a little bit of time to get going. We don't want it to drop a tornado in the next 30 minutes, because, well, we're not going to be there in 30 minutes, so. looking a lot better guys I'm liking the way that's looking I'm liking the way that's looking chat echo tops are going up heck yeah echo tops are going up there see that guys our storms are looking a little beefier now nice cluster down there I'm feeling better and better as we go. I think we're all the way back, guys. 
for a little bit there, I was concerned. I'm not going to lie. I was worried that we might have botched the chase today, but I'm starting to, I'm starting to really like the way things are looking down there, southwest of Florence, New Florence, Missouri. Welcome. Thanks for becoming a member. Welcome to the club. So yeah, we do uh, we do members only live streams. We do members only live streams, guys. So uh, and uh, we do some update videos. And there's some exclusive videos on there, storm chasing videos and posts, all that good stuff. So if you guys are interested, make sure to become a member. You can become a storm chaser just like Andrew there. Speaking of Andrew, my uh, my cousin Andrew might be flying out in May, so I might be chasing with my my cousin Andrew when May comes around. We're, we're thinking maybe May fifteenth to May twenty fifth. May fifteenth to May twenty fifth is the time frame we're thinking. So, we're gonna have it. Uh, hopefully gonna have him out here just got to work a few things out and it's gonna be great we're gonna have a little team here we're gonna be able to dominate the stream and videos like never before so I'm really excited for that so I think May is gonna be really big this year that's why I told him you better get out here yeah and you get your green name get a green name so I'd say that's worth it right there but no pressure guys no pressure just being here is supporting me so just by watching the stream and dropping a like subscribing all that stuff that's 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 enough support so appreciate y'all y'all Okay, we're so back, guys. We're so back, I think. Wow, Proxima, thanks for the super chat again. Thank you. Yes, thanks, Mod Squad. I like, I like the team McKinney there. W Proxima. W Proxima, guys. Okay, I gotta exit here. I gotta exit here, Chad. And hopefully this is connect to the interstate here. Got a fast pro shops here. Oh yeah, interstate should be right down here. Right down here. We found our storm chaser for But yes, thank you, Proxima, once again for all the support on the stream. We appreciate you. Okay. All right, 
right? That guy's driving on the wrong side of the road, chat. Did you guys see that? <laughs> that guy just took the wrong... I mean, I see what he did, but don't do that. So... So anyway, if you guys are just now tuning in, we're in Columbia, Missouri right now. We're trying to get to the interstate here. We're about a quarter mile to getting on the interstate, but it might take us a couple minutes because for some reason it's super slow here. But once we get on the interstate, we're going to blast east. And we've got what I would expect to be a supercell developing here. Just to the east of Jefferson City. I, I think we have a supercell that is getting going we got a cluster i bet it's going to merge together and turn into a supercell and it's going to be heading east toward the st louis area so st louis needs to uh you know keep a heads up about this later down the road opposite destiny thanks for the super chat Let's see jerseyville illinois drove to jerseyville illinois just north of St. Louis from Louisville. Yeah, just got to be patient today, man. Personally, I'm liking those cells that are headed towards St. Louis there, west of St. Louis. So that's my target right now. That's my target cluster. Gosh, dang. How long is this light going to go for, guys? Oh, my gosh. Can, can we spare a green light? I see it's green. It's green. It's green. Let's go, guys. Oh my gosh, dude. All right, brother, get through the light. Get through the light storm chaser. Let's not sit this far back. I just gotta get through the green light. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? Section here. What a joke. <laughs> what a joke of an intersection, bro. I didn't want to get stuck. I didn't want to get stuck out there, so. I might have just saved some time anyway by doing that maneuver, so. Anyway. We would have been stuck in the uh, intersection there, and that's not ideal, so. Probably should have just done that maneuver from the beginning. All right, go. We got a green light. Welcome to Columbia at rush hour. Okay, getting on the interstate, guys. We're getting on the interstate. Michael, thanks for becoming a member there. Fireballer, thank you for the super chat. I appreciate that. I'm feeling better about it. I'm definitely feeling better about it. situated we're finally on the road let's get on this thing let's do it let's do it chat Thanks, D-Man. I do kind of have a dono train going here. Thanks again, opposite there.
Yeah, today's just a just a game of patience. Game of patience. And I think because we're patient, we're gonna be rewarded here with a nice supercell here soon. Holy smokes, Proxima, thanks to the 10 gifted members. Once again, guys, W Proxima in the chat. Everybody thank Proxima for the 10 gifted. opposite the support there and everybody else so alright guys just gonna have to stay kind of locked in here for a little bit while we work our way to the storm have to stay locked in a lot of lightning a lot of lightning developing on this supercell and we're in great positions, already starting to develop, indicate, yeah, that, guys, this is, this is a supercell. This is a supercell, guys. This is turning into a supercell. I'm pretty confident about this. We're already starting to get some indications of rotation developing on this storm. Target's locked in. It's go time. when that tornado watch is going to drop. Wouldn't be surprised if it drops here. Maybe it already has. I haven't been able to really look, but I think it's probably going to drop here shortly for East Missouri into Illinois, especially for the supercell here that's developing. I'm just liking the look of it. I had those about the mergers. Or, or clusters, I should say. When you get a cluster, uh, clusters can make make for intense supercell thunderstorms because when they merge together, those updrafts combine, and all that energy and all that strength combines together to create a much more powerful updraft. And that's exactly what's happening, guys. Exactly what's happening on this storm. They have combined, and it's resulting in a much more powerful storm. So. I would expect a severe thunderstorm warning here shortly on this cell. Rotation's picking up on radar too a little bit. There's indication of rotation on this. Cooking, guys. Oh yeah, nice 
nice little merger action, big time CG spike. Big time CG spike on this storm. It's happening. Maybe we can meet it in Washington, or I must say Illinois, Washington, Missouri. There is a Washington, Illinois, but maybe Washington, Missouri, we can meet it there. Probably moving at a pretty decent clip, guys. So we're just gonna have to keep the pedal to the metal here. Wish we were ahead of where we're at right now, but sometimes you just don't know. But we're gonna we're gonna get there, chat. We're gonna get there. We got the roads to get in front of this thing. It's just gonna take a little time. It's just gonna take a little time. See where we're at. See where the cell is. We just gotta blast east on the interstate and get ahead of it. Just gotta blast east, chat. I'm gonna call Connor. Lock in, Connor, lock in. Dude, we got a merger. I'm on the interstate. Like, it's, it's beautiful. Yeah, I'm on I-70 blasting east right now. I'm east of Columbia by maybe 15 miles, 20 miles. Oh, you're that far east? Eh? Oh, wait, never, never, never mind. I thought you got west of Columbia by 15 miles. No, 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 yeah. I, I, as soon as I saw that, it saw things starting to go down there, I just blasted out of where I was at, so. Yeah, I'm, uh... I'm in Jonesburg. You're where? Jonesburg. Okay, you're ahead of me by maybe like 20 miles. Gotcha. Yeah, no, this thing looks, this thing's a beaut. I can I'm, already tell it's gonna be a beaut. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna be honest, like, this is a very nice look. I mean, as soon as I saw that cluster, I was like, oh, that's a cluster, man. That's gonna turn into mergers. And it did exactly what I thought it was gonna do, so. What I don't like is that it's like turning right literally directly at St. Louis, like directly. Yeah, it's going for St. Louis, which is not ideal for St. Louis and maybe not ideal for us because... Not ideal for both because I don't want to chase in St. Louis. And the people of St. Louis probably don't want us to chase there because that means it's a bad storm. Yeah, like I'll be honest, I don't really want to chase St. Louis at rush hour, but yeah, it's yeah, trending yeah. that way, so... Uh, it's definitely not going to be putting myself in the path of the mezzo on any of the highways at rush hour. I am. No. <laughs> no. No, 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 no. We got to stay out of the mezzo. Dude. Might have, to, might have to get ahead of it when it's going through St. Lou, you know, unless it has a yeah. strong, if it has an indication of a tornado, then, of course, we're going to have to just send it in the, in the metro area, but... Um, right. Ideally, there's no tornado in the St. Louis metro area. Let's let's not do that for storm chasing purposes. For everybody's sake, for literally everybody's sake, let's just not do the tornado yeah. near St. Louis. Louis. Yeah. Let's just skip that, and then when it gets to the beautiful open terrain of Illinois, hey, golden hour. There we go. Yeah, nice, nice cornfield. Well, there's no corn yet, but nice field in Illinois. Just put a nice little you know cone down for us. Yes, I, that would be the more preferred method yeah. of uh, this. But honestly, but I'm kind of scared for St. Louis because this thing is going to do something before it gets to St. Louis, guaranteed. I hope not. I don't know. I don't know. What, like, I don't know if the shear is good. I yeah, don't I don't know, know if it's going to do tornado, but it's definitely going to turn into a hailer. I'm pretty confident oh. that this is going to drop some big hail going into St. Louis, unless something more crazy than, happens. More than likely, this will definitely be a big hailer. Yeah, yeah. I'm just like, dude. Just imagine, like, you're just like stuck in a standstill traffic at yeah, <laughs> rush hour, and it's like there's just a wedge coming at you, and you just, you just like can't do anything. You're just like, okay, well, that's it for me. Well, that's when I just get out. I mean, 
I, I just get out of my car and just film whatever's about to happen and just hang on for dear life. <laughs> I don't know. That's when I get out of my car and I just freaking run. Yeah, I have, I'm going to get out of my car and I'm going to run out. Because, like, it should be a pretty straight path with the tornado. Like, yeah. I mean, I could run a mile in, like, seven minutes. So as long as I am proactive and I make my decision early, you know, like, I feel I'm like... Running to the, I'm running to the nearest structure. I don't care what it is. <laughs> Yeah. Well, if you're on the interstate, it's going to be kind of tough. Yeah, I might have to just do, might have to get under an overpass. If it's got the girders, if it's got the, it's got to have the, the girders. Guys, do not. Yeah. Do no overpasses, guys. No overpasses. No overpasses. We're not. We're not promoting that. <laughs> That's not what I'm trying to say. Yeah. Let's see. What's up, on Joy? Surprised they haven't severe. Surprised they haven't severe warned us yet. Yeah, that's what I was saying. I was like, I think this thing's gonna get severe warned shortly. I mean, oh, I was look at that lady! Look at that! I'm passing you now too. You gave me this look about five miles back. Look at that! You're getting passed now. Wow, that was aggressive. Yeah, it is. I got like there were two semis <laughs> in each lane playing freaking leapfrog with each other, and I had people blowing past me, giving me dirty looks in the in the right lane because I was stuck behind the semi. And I was like, you're not going anywhere, and now I'm passing them all again. Interesting. I was I was thinking about getting a road rage emote for my chat. <laughs> yeah, well, hey, my chat could use that every two seconds. Yeah, I know. Like, I'm I was always... like, you know what? That's kind of a fun thing to like have in the chat every time. You know, just just yeah, make probably... fun of me. It's okay. I'll probably steal a laugh from you. That's a good idea. I actually really like that. Because <laughs> my chat could literally use that on like an hourly <laughs> basis. Yeah, I think every every thirty minutes. Yeah, every 30 minutes I'm all getting mad at, mad at something on the road. Dude, this thing is like a freaking shrimp. The storm? Yeah. It's a shrimp supercell, guys. It looks just like weak right now, the mezzo does, but I just think, I just don't think this year is that good yet, but... Did you, just, did you read that know. MD by chance? Did you see what that MD said? Uh, the, 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 new, the new one? Yeah, there's a new one that dropped for East Missouri into Illinois. Yeah, I know. I mean, they should they issued a tornado launch for it. Did they? They said tornado threat. Yeah, this tornado launch. Tornado launch. Tornado threats expected to increase this evening as low levels are increasing at the boundary. And the tornado watch says a uh, few tornadoes likely, with a couple intense tornadoes possible. Interesting. They went likely on the tornadoes. Yeah, a few tornadoes likely, with a couple intense tornadoes possible. All right. Well, that's a pretty so it, that's a pretty hefty it, tornado watch. Yeah, it's a, it's a legit tornado watch. Like, yeah. I mean, we're not we're, we're not talking like 40 20 props we're talking like no. what is that like 70 30 or something um, 60 50, is it 60 what what's likely I don't know maybe 50 30 60 30 60 40 let, let me get my facts straight here yeah I mean I, I could probably I could probably just look but okay it says moderate moderate so I don't why does it say okay moderate moderate high low and then a double high for hail Nice. So, guys, big time hail with this. It's a 50 40 watch. Actually, 40 is pretty good. That's crazy. 50 40 is kind of wild. Yeah, 50 40 means we, that's a decent, strong tornado prop there. Yeah, that's a really interesting. Uh, oh, boy. All right, Dude, guys. Thing, now I really don't want this thing to go to St. Louis. Like, come on, dude. Just stay out of St. Louis. It's supposed to be yeah. north of here. It's supposed to all be north of here, man. What are we doing here? Yeah, once it gets into Illinois, though, we're big chilling. If it if it lasts or if it keeps, you know, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens. But yeah, until like, Illinois, we're kind of just, uh, yeah. And I'm just gonna wait and like go fallin' because like the terrain south of us highways don't even bother with it. Yeah, I'm just gonna blast east and get ahead of it. I mean, there's no reason to try to drop into the jungle yet. Here we go. We're severe warned. Let's go. Let's go chat. Severe warned. Severe warning, one tail, 60 miles per hour winds. Lock it in, and I'm in the severe warning, so I can change my traffic. You're actually in it? Oh, yeah, you are. I'm in it. I, I'm going to I'm gonna refrain from doing mine, because I feel like I, I, I can't do it until I get a little closer, so. You, you can't cheat. You got to at least be close. Yeah, I, I I try to get close before I change. Like, I, I don't, maybe not in it, but just once I get close. Yeah. So. Definitely. Give it like 15 minutes, chat, and we're gonna we're gonna switch to the severe warning for the first time today. Mezzo's 
definitely weak right now, but I mean, it's in a, it's in a few, few stages. Yeah. Interesting sell to the West, too. I don't know if you've been looking at that, but... I just locked it on this one. Oh, yeah, there's a sell to the West. Yeah. It's... Huh. I mean, these it, two are going to be... These two are the, the cells of the, of the daytime, at least. Yeah, it's... I would favor the eastern one, but just keep an eye on the one back west. It is doing some interesting merger stuff. I'm looking at the KC radar. That's not the worst looking thing I've ever seen. I mean, yeah. And maybe that'll end up being the one too. I don't know. I don't know. Honestly, it almost looks better than the one here in some ways, but it's so early. There's no reason. Like, you, you got to go for the east side. You can always come back west if it just happens to be the western one. Yeah, I'm just, just going to sit east on this little bad boy and yep. let it rip. See what happens. Let it rip. Hopefully find somewhere I can sit and watch it come at me. Yeah, if you place. find a good spot, maybe right. I might just, I might just like, uh, take your spot too. You know, we might have to share it. I might have to Venmo you, but... You know, I'm going to send you a, I'm going to send you a pin like in the middle of a river. <laughs> I was, I was gonna say I'll Venmo you like fifty bucks and you find a good spot. <laughs> yeah, I'll put you right in the middle of the river. Alright, appreciate that man. That's that's actually the best place. Just yeah, get just get like, a get a canoe and just canoe your way into the middle of the Mississippi River. Yeah, that way you have no service and no view. Yeah, and also like I accidentally drop my the streaming phone into the river. <laughs> Yeah, and then you have no stream too. Yeah, then I have no stream. That's it could be a great idea for me, honestly. This is how Connor is gonna get rid of me, guys. Yeah, this could be this could be what I've been looking for. He's, he's gonna get rid of me. He thinks I'm he thinks I'm competition. So sometimes you gotta find uh, unique ways to get rid of the competition. Dang. Well, sending Freddy sending Freddy Freddy into the river. That's definitely unique. I'll be I'll be one with the fishes. Oh man! Hey, there's another cell firing south of it. Another merger. This thing is a merger machine. Yeah, cause so yeah, that's gonna definitely got to stay on it. Cause as those mergers keep happening, you just never know. And one of them is just like gonna be really favorable and might get things going. So more mergers, the merrier. Until unless it's in New Mexico and there's like 40 mergers, that never stops merging. Yeah, never, never. stop merging. Yeah, but then it could be too many uh, burgers. Yeah, we don't we don't want to overdo it, but right, we don't want we don't want this thing turning into an HP blob. Yeah, yeah I just want a supercell, man. <laughs> supercell and then the supercell is the appetizer for tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow is insane. Like tomorrow is just insane, man. I just spent like I spent like thirty minutes earlier just breaking down tomorrow. Really. I've been talking to Chad about it. I keep I keep telling him like, dude, tomorrow is like, I think tomorrow is gonna. I, there's tornado outbreak. Definite tornado outbreak potential tomorrow. That guy is just insane. Big CG uptick on this one. What did you say? Big CG uptick on our storm one. Looks like with the stupid newer merger. Okay, trying that's. Find, trying to try and find somewhere to sit in Wentville or Old Valley. Are you are you already in like the St. Louis outskirts? I'm in. I'm, I'm coming into Westville. Gotcha. So yeah, I, I think that would be considered the St. Louis outskirts. Yeah, I swear St. Louis goes forever, bro. Like once you start getting into the outskirts, it's just like it's just forever. <laughs> like St. Louis is 50, like downtown St. Louis is 50 miles away, and like you're already on, entering the outskirts, yeah, like, bro. Like I'm already in it. Like <laughs> that's crazy. Ah. <laughs> If we could just get this storm to just skip over St. Louis into Illinois, that's, it, yeah, it's probably too good to be true, though. Yeah. It seems like St. Louis is kind of like a supercell magnet in some ways. I think they're kind of worried by the time uh, it gets to us, it might not even, or by the time it gets to Illinois, it might not even be daytime anymore. Yeah. Well, what time is it, 521? So maybe like uh, seven thirty or yeah. something. Yeah, hey Tom, this is Freddie on the phone, but um, yeah, man, I don't know if you're not enjoying the 
conversation. I guess you should head out. Uh, I don't know what else to tell you. Tom was just, just talking to Freddie here. <laughs> they made him sorry if you don't. I'm sorry if you're not enjoying listening. Is Tom is Tom not liking me, not not liking my conversation right now? No, Tom is. Uh, Tom said he's gonna go watch someone else because of our lengthy conversation. Dang. Okay. Well, that's a, that's a shame. Yeah. Oh well. Well, I guess I'll. Uh, yeah, I, I guess, guess I'll just yeah. mute my microphone. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, I'll just, I'll just mute. Just stay on the call so if I find a spot. Just, yeah. Yeah, no, that's yeah. Cool. I mean, there's like nothing else. I mean, right now we're just cruising, so. Yeah. I mean, Tom, if I weren't talking to Freddie, I would pretty much be silent, so. I don't know. I, don't know. I think talking is better. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. No, I think, the, I think silence is the key here. Be as silent as possible. <laughs> Even my chat saying bye, Tom. <laughs> oh, they're saying bye, Tom, in the chat. Oh man, don't be a Tom, guys. Oh, dude, there is like a uh, there is a bit of a at least a surge in outflow. I mean. Whether that could be an RFD or just outflow, I'm seeing like some velocities picking up there. So. Okay, that's good. Mm, try this. Thanks. It might not be far enough off to the. I'm just gonna start trying exits as I go. Got to try something. Just gonna see if I can get any good view on each exit. I'd say I'm almost a new Florence. I'm just gonna see if I can't find a view on any of these roads here. I mean, you can see it getting dark over there, Chad. You can see it getting dark. Come on over, brother. Let's go down this road a little bit. Probably gonna have to do this like five different times, Chad, but until we find something good. But if you do you want to just experiment with different exits, we are facing the storm now. Okay. Literally, I'm in mountains. I'm in like mountains right now, dude. You're in mountains? Yes, like it's literally a mountain off this highway, right? This exit, yeah. Something tells me this exit's not going to work for us, Chad. We got 70, there is a 70 dBZ spot on the storm now. Guess we'll try down this hill here. One spot of 70. Maybe a very weak kind of couplet looking thing, but I'm not gonna call it a couplet yet. What's the neighborhood right here? Yeah, something tells me to say that's not gonna work. Burgess to the south, got a supercell to the west. Dude, that super of the west actually looks pretty good. What the heck? Bro's about to go west. Like, I'm just looking at it, bro, but it, I don't find the look of that supercell there. Uh, it's not worth going west yet because, I mean, it's coming at us at 40 miles an hour or something, so. Oh, yeah, that one looks kind of good, actually. But, I mean, I'm just saying, like, I'm looking at KC, and that thing looks pretty impressive right now. To keep an eye on that one too, chat. Not two supercells here. We're playing this just how we should, though. You got to stay on the, the lead storm. You can always yep, fall yep. back. You know, if we go after the west storm, we're, we're basically just kissing this storm goodbye. There's no shot of getting to it. So. Yep. Stay ahead of both until uh, something looks concrete. Yep. Just don't want to bite yet. Right. You play middle ground until you actually have to make your decision, and then you got to make your decision quickly and get over there. Pretty much. Dude, that, that actually looks pretty like, good. Dude, I just want to find an exit. But it's not mountains. Like, like, I don't know what kind of exit this is, but right off the highway, it's a fucking mountain range. Yeah. So, guys, we got two supercells. We got one to our west. The one to the west is looking a little more favorable now. I'm liking the way it, it looks on radar. Um, a lot of mergers on it, a lot of lightning, pretty good hail core, indication of maybe some mid-level rotation on uh, a couple different radars. 
but it's not severe worn. The one that we're on over here on the east side is severe worn. So we're going to stay on the uh, eastern one for now. Bullseye of zero three kilometer cape of like 150. So, okay. I mean, I'm yeah. it's, it's right where that destabilization happened. See, I'm gonna pickle because I want to get a view of this for everybody, but at the same time, it's heading right for now. Look, instead of northern St. Louis, the murder is it's going for the heart of St. Louis, and I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get through St. Louis as it is. <sighs> Pretty much, I just need a route probably to the other side of St. Louis. Let's see, let's see, let's see how it routes yeah. here. The storm's moving due east, right? It will be soon. Yeah, I mean, with with with, a, with rotation, it's going to move due east. So, basically, right, just uh, need to track it out. I mean, you can stay on 70 the entire way. It's an hour from where I'm at the other side of the river. Do you think it's going to be more of a 70 thing, or do you want to go more old Fallon? Old no Fallon's on 70. Well, it's on... 70 goes north. Oh, wait. Okay, so 70 goes, 70 goes north of St. Louis and it turns into 270. Yeah, so let me let me track this out and just kind of see how this is. I mean, honestly, it might be better to go. I th oh, dude, I think it's I think it is kind of making a right turn with those mergers firing right in there. I would yeah. say it's going to go south St. Louis. Yeah, I, I, I would believe I would believe maybe just directly downtown. Downtown St. Louis. St. Louis. Oh, dude, no Dang it! I don't want to do downtown St. Louis, guys. Gosh, dang. I might just put in like Fairview Heights and see how it routes. I right through the heart of St. Louis, bro. I don't want to do it. See, that's what I was thinking. I'll just like stay ahead of it, take I fifty or take uh, I seventy to two seventy, and then once I get to the other side of St. Louis, then I'll start dropping south. Yeah. Interesting. I think there's a couple different ways we can we can do this. It's just it's just they're all they all kind of suck because we have to go through St. Louis. Yeah. Dang it, guys. Well, I, at first I thought it was gonna stay on the northern side of St. Louis, but then it's doing these mergers, turning yeah, it's turning due right. Yeah, it's turning due right because if you if you look at the last few scans, it is definitely going. So, do right, right for St. Louis. Yeah. Map to the side here. Somewhat shortly, actually. St. Louis Metro experience. Yeah, I would get on the storm right now and just like follow it through St. Louis, but uh, one traffic jam and you're done. So I just, like I want to stay. Yeah, it's better to get through as quick as possible. Like just power through right now. Yeah. Sorry, Chad. We're not gonna go for this right away. I'm Ooh, it's looking better on radar. I just took another look at radar. I like the way that's looking and how those mergers are. They're, they're coming yeah. in from a favorable angle on this thing. I mean, it definitely, the mergers look up. The storm itself looks good. Like, I'm really hurt by it. Yeah. It's just uh, St. Louis, and you're not going to want to stop in East St. Louis. You're going to have to get turned out of the city. Otherwise, it's, it's freaking East St. Louis. So. I've done it before, so I can do it again. East St. Louis? Yep. <laughs> oh, boy. A couple times, actually, so. Let's I see. I guess it depends on which part. Yeah, I mean. I mean, I don't know. I mean, I don't know. I'll try not. We'll try not to, but 
Yeah. If it's another Gary situation where there's a tornado, I'm going. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. Can't let, uh, can't let it stop you. We're not. We're not gonna. We're not gonna let it Gary us again. Yep. 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 <laughs> yep. Uh, you're gonna keep blasting east. 155. I think I'm gonna go through the north side of St. Louis and then go south. Yeah. I feel like uh, it looks like there's some. Maybe some convergence trying to develop there, kind of uh, New Haven area, like just south of New Haven. Like it's yeah, getting right a look. Now, yeah, but those right now it doesn't really have any inflow. So yeah. Definitely gonna definitely needs to work on itself a little bit, which is good for Los Angeles. Yeah. Good for but then you can tell you can tell it just got rooted and like it's latched to something because it just turned hard, right? Might have found yeah. another chaser here. Again, if you guys are just tuning in, chat, lots of them look ready. We're trying to figure out the best strategies to get this storm while it's moving through the St. Louis metro area because one traffic jam in the metro, and yeah, you're, you're, I mean, we're gonna have to go back for the west storm and then try and do it all over again. So it's just better to get on the other side of the river and then have the storm come to you. We'll hope it doesn't produce while you're doing that. Yep. Just gotta hope for the best. Yeah, it's kind of the play. Right? Backstorm just got double severe warning. The back one just did. Yeah. Stormer. Oh, dude, it's got a big hail core on it now. 70 dBZs on the uh, Springfield radar. So. Hey, ours is already warned for golf balls. Well, the hail and threat's verifying, guys. Big hail coming for St. Louis. Okay, well, Connor, I might, I might mute for a little bit. Sounds good. I'll mute as well. I just talked to chat, so, but I'll, I'll come back in a little bit. I'll, uh, yeah, just use it like a walkie. Yeah, we'll just use it as the walkie again. <laughs> All right, yep. talk to you in a bit, bro. Yep. Yep. All right. Okay, so. Guys, I still, I still got Connor on the phone, but we're just, sometimes it's hard to talk when you got conversations going on, but I want to talk to you guys directly and what our game plan is here. We're smack dab in between two super, well, not in between necessarily, but we're in position on two supercells here. See this? We're approaching the lead one. We're blasting east on I-70. And we're going to get in front of this thing as it moves into St. Louis. That's what we're doing right now. Hopefully we can actually get ahead of it. We might even have to take the northern route if it looks like we're not going to be able to, uh, to beat it before it crosses the southern route. But we're getting ahead of this severe worn supercell here heading towards St. Louis. So that's kind of our, uh, that's kind of our game plan here right now. So we're just we're blasting east. We're keeping both supercells in um, in contention here, and we'll have to see what happens. We might have to contend with the St. Louis metro area, which is not ideal for storm chasing purposes. Just there's not a lot of places you can pull off and stop, and it's just we just don't really want to have to chase things through the metro area, especially during. Uh, Especially during a rush hour, so. But I'm liking the way the storm is looking. I'm liking the way the storm behind us is looking. And we just gotta figure out which one is gonna be our storm. But I appreciate you guys for tuning in today. And be sure to drop a like on the stream while you're here. And thanks everybody for doing that already. Don't have anything new. Okay, interesting. I like both cells right now. But we kind of have to just pick one.
Oh uh, man, what do you guys think? You think you, you guys like the, the eastern storm or you like the western storm? I think they both got pros and cons. The biggest con to this eastern storm is the fact that it's moving into the St. Louis area. But what I like about the western storm is, is we're in ample position to get on it because we're ahead of it. We're, we're in good position to get on that western storm if that ended up being the storm. Just not sure if it's going to be the storm. Again, we're faced with another tough decision here. As of right now, the Western Storm looks better. I like the Western Storm better, guys. I really do right now, but it's just I'm not sure what's going to happen. You know, an hour from now, it might be the Eastern Storm that looks better, so... Thanks for liking the stream, guys. I like the one I like the one west I just don't know yet so we just gotta we gotta we gotta lock in on a target here we gotta lock in on a storm is it gonna be the east one or is it gonna be the west one I'm gonna keep going east for now I think we can get on the west one in maybe 40 minutes to an hour. Like somewhere between 40 minutes and an hour. If we got to get on the west one, we can fall back to it. That's not a problem. We can get on the western one. It's the eastern one that's the tricky one because it's moving away.
got to keep driving. So we just got to keep driving east and stay in contention for both the cell. That guardrail got messed up. Yikes. Did you guys see that guardrail? Somebody, somebody ate that guardrail. This one looks legit, guys. Ah! I might have to turn around, chat. Might have to turn around. That west one's looking really promising right now. The, the reason I haven't turned around yet is because I thought that the eastern one was just going to be in the better environment. Dude, you, you see in this western storm, bro? It, it's definitely a chonker. Yeah, it's a, it's a freaking chonker, dude. It's getting a nice yeah. merger, too. Dude, I'm already literally like... Dude, I'm probably an hour and a half away from that storm. I'm so far out of here. Uh, I, got I, I don't know if it's as bad as you think, because it's going to be... I mean, it's coming right at you, but... I guess that is true. Yay. Yeah. 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 I might exit here, bro. I might I might exit off and just take a deep dive into that storm. Yeah. I might just hit the exit up here and just take a look and just because I've made pretty good progress. I'm almost just parallel with this storm that's to my south right now. Yeah, I might get off. But I mean, I'm not real far. I just don't know if I want to get into the depths of St. Louis right now. If, the, if I if I gotta go west. Ah, oh, yeah. dude. St. Louis is complicating everything. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna pull off here. And just take a look. On the on it, on it. Just a quick check here. Yeah. Cause either I gotta go east or I gotta go west. But I gotta go somewhere. Is that Jordan? No. No, it's not Jordan. I thought, where is it? I don't know. I think it, it's, there's somebody parked right there. Holy cow. I like the way this one looks too with his parkers coming in. Man. Yeah, it's still, it's still got a, a favorable look. I mean, the back one's big time hail for sure. I'm just not sure about tornado threat yet because it's so far from the radar. This one's still yeah. getting some nice convergence here, kind of near Washington, so it might just make sense to just keep sending it east, and then you can always fall back west. Yeah, dang man. Dude, look at how much Columbia. lightning's on that thing, bro. Columbia. Holy shoot, man. Just blasted an hour all the way out ahead of the storm. Uh, I, go back. I might just be stuck on this one. I mean that's a that's a monster supercell right there. Absolute monster. But is it on like some sort of like confluence almost look? I mean I know it's not a confluence band, but it's got like some weird like I don't know, I just see something really weird out in the Springfield radar where there's just like an arc of like uh like precip into that storm. It's weird. Yeah, Brian, the local budget starts to rip probably 7, 8 o'clock here. It doesn't increase a whole lot from what it already is, but... Significant tornado parameter. Uh, photographs. Look interesting on the back one. Maybe better on the back one, actually.
It's on some sort of boundary, bro. There's, there, I know it's on a boundary back there. I think this one is too. They, I think they're both on the same boundary. Right. Ah, dude, this is so painful. I just keep heading east. Just afraid as soon as I'm gonna turn my back, this thing's gonna actually try to tighten up here. Yeah, it's a rough, uh, rough decision. Yeah. I think the west one is just, I don't know, it might have a better chance, might not. I mean, I think they're pretty much equal. West one just has bigger hail right now. Yeah. I'm not looking for anyone. Bigger hail, I, I would say it has a better looking, uh, at least mid-level mezzo. This thing, I don't know. I've seen stuff like this still get it done, like this thing to our east right now. I've, I've seen this stuff still get it done before, so. Yeah, I know. It's hard to get a good look at it. I'm just looking at our uh, ops here, so just to the south. Of, or southeast of where that storm's at. It's 76-61 with a south-southeast wind at maybe like 10, 15 knots. 78 74 78 63 79 It's one of them, bro. It's one of them. <laughs> Fortnite, Fortnite blog said he got kicked out of Reed Timmer's Reed because he told people to add him on Fortnite. <laughs> that's <laughs> that's actually pretty funny. Storm Chaser YouTube may not be the best place to find your squad, my man. I don't know. There's there's probably somebody out there somewhere. Just overall, probably would have better luck in maybe a Fortnite stream. I think I'm gonna just keep. I I think I'm gonna head east a little more. I mean, I'm pretty much just locked into this one. It's just because I'm just not sure which storm is going to be the one, so... Chad, I would just stop and wait for this one, but, like, I can't... There's, there's nowhere to get a visual, either. Like, it's a bunch of baloney, man. So much lightning on the western one, but... I just know if I stay here too long, I'm not going to have, you know, enough time. keep up with it and then I'm already just committing to the west one so I have to keep going. Yeah they just issued a big old severe thunderstorm warning for St. Louis the west side. Got, got some, yeah I mean I'm just gonna go with this one but I mean I might who knows maybe the west one will do something but I, I think that if the west one does something I'm pretty confident this one will do something too. It should. And I still think I think this thing's got a shot. It looks not great right now, but it doesn't always look great, you know, initially. Yeah, I, mean, I like I like that as a big thing up draft as burgers. Clearly it's not in the best year environment yet, but give it some time. Really, yeah, give it a little time. Let it cook. Yep, so yeah, let it cook, Jack. Let it cook. That being said, I'm gonna activate my severe thunderstorm board. I'm already out of the next of your thunder storm warning. I'm so far ahead of this thing. There we go. Like I said, I would, uh, wait for it if there was anywhere to view it. You know, you get off the highways in St. Louis and it just, it's like a freaking valley. Yeah. Yep, St. Louis is just, <laughs> St. Louis, it, is St. Louis, so. Yeah, but I don't think I could be uh, more irritated with this storm and its placement. Well, at least it's crossing where there's a bridge. True. True. Good looking like that. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Just keep, keep going east. Well, look at that. Right now, they're both hailers, and you can either choose the hailer out west, and you'll have to deal with St. Louis maybe when it's tornadoing, or by the time it starts tornadoing, it might be a decent terrain. Yeah, plus.
Cross that thing's in not shit. Like, you cannot get over there right now. It is literally in a forest yep. with mountains. There's another storm going up on the east side of San Luis Valley right in front of me. You never know. Like, it's going up right here. Oh, dude. Yeah, okay. Let's see what happens. Look at this big old storm going up right in front of me. Alright, Chad, we got another we got another player in the game. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, well. I'll go back on mute. Yeah, I'm gonna go back on mute for a little while, so. Alright, we know. BRB. Alright. Okay, so, guys, we're going to keep heading east. We're going to keep heading east for now. We're going to stay on this severe worn super south coming into the St. Louis area. We're going to stay on it for now. And maybe this will be the one. Sometimes you just gotta be patient, Chad. Sometimes you just gotta be patient. Just gonna keep a really close eye on this thing as it moves into St. Louis. It could, it could still do something funny, Jack. Like, it still could do something funny here, so hopefully not for the sake of St. Louis, but... It is in a tornado watch. It's in an environment where a tornado could happen, so... We gotta watch this very closely as it comes to St. Louis. So if you're in St. Louis... Your head on a swivel right now. And then there's another supercell back behind this one heading towards St. Louis. So St. Louis is not in the most ideal position right now for severe weather. There's a lot of severe weather coming into the St. Louis area. big old chonker over there and it's going to be in the woods we can always come back on it guys we can always come back on the west storm so we're just going to blast east and get into position on this one I want to take the north route through St. Louis. We may want to take that north route. Hopefully it's routing us that way anyway. Which I believe it is. Yeah, okay, so it's routing us the north route, which is good. Yeah, if you guys are just now tuning in, just west of St. Louis, Missouri right now. They've got a severe worn supercell approaching the St. Louis metro area. Damaging hail is uh, right now the, the primary threat with this storm. However, with time, this thing may develop a tornado threat. Especially as that low-level jet increases here going into the evening hours, so could be a dangerous situation for the St. Louis area. We got the mobs in this very closely. Right. 
right now we just got a blast east, at least for this south. I mean, if it ends up being the west storm, we'll just turn right back around. But I don't even know how we would get on the, the west storm because of where it's at right now. It's, it's just over like forests and hills, so there's not a good way to get on that western storm. Way better position on this eastern one. Still weakly rotating here. This, I mean, it, there's some pretty strong velocities on this chat. Like, there's some pretty strong velocities on this supercell. There's nothing has tightened up. We got there's a lot of outflow winds. There's a lot of inflow winds, but. For tornado potential, it's got to tighten up. So we're, we're just gonna have to wait, just wait and see how this storm progresses from here. It just completed its merger, so from here on, there's not really anything interfering with the storm. It's just kind of up to whether or not it's gonna decide to, to do anything as it comes into St. Louis. I can't really talk to you guys on chat right now. Or I can talk to you guys, but I can't read chat. And stay locked in here. Bear with me. take the south on the northern route. The south one will put me right in the path of this darn thing. It might be the play. It might just go for it. We got an equal amount of time. South route will put us right in the notch of this storm. So... As long as we keep the power going, we should be good. Yeah, it's okay. It's starting to get an interesting look, guys. I don't know if it's fully like what it's fully doing here, but it's it's looking a little more interesting there near Augusta. Looking a little more interesting near Augusta right now. The storm is moving east at. See if we get a track at 35 miles per hour. So I guess it could be a lot worse actually. It's not moving all that fast. It's still pretty quick though, but it's manageable.
gonna try to drop ahead of this storm, guys. Try to drop ahead of the storm, see if we get right in the notch. And put ourselves in good contention on this thing. Because if it, if it wraps up, it's moving right into St. Louis. So. This thing's moving right into St. Louis, guys. So. Hopefully, it does not ramp up. Big time hail though coming into the St. Louis area. I, I would say it's starting to look a little better on velocities, guys. I'm starting to see a little more rotation there. So it might be trying to do something. Moving into position. The rotation starting to pick up near Augusta. Stay concentrated here. Coming into St. Louis, things could get dangerous here, at least on the roads. Not idea, not ideal. I think I'm gonna take the, gosh, what route should I take? I'm gonna take the Northern route, chat. I'm gonna take the northern route and sort of drop in on it. Unless it looks like it's going tornadic. You guys, I, I think it's starting to, it could be starting to try to go tornadic here in St. Louis. I'm, I'm actually starting to see a, a look on it that's looking a little scary, so. We're gonna try to get into position here. Anyway, we could take that southern route without, nah, dude, because that hail, I don't think we're beating the hail core, guys, to take the southern route. We would have had to have left like 10 minutes ago to actually make that southern route. So we're gonna take it, we're gonna take it east and maybe we can find another way to drop it from the north. We really gotta watch it with the hail, guys. We really gotta watch it with the hail today. If it starts to go more tornadic though, we'll take the other route. But for right now, shoot, it does look interesting there, though. Dang it, guys. I'm going to keep... Yeah, we're just 
gonna take the northern route. We're gonna take the northern route and drop in on it. Might be able to drop due south on one of these interstates. Yeah, I concur. It looks like it's it's really starting to kind of ramp up there, south side. Did you take the like southern what? interstate or did you take the eastern interstate, like the northern interstate? Northern. I'm all I'm, I'm across the river. I'm, uh, yeah, I'm in like on the north side of St. Louis. Wait, are you're in Il or uh, you're you're in Illinois? Yeah. Okay, I'm just taking I-70 north side of St. Louis, and then I'm gonna try it. I, if it wraps up, bro, I'm dropping straight south. Uh, on one of these yeah. interstates in, through St. Louis because it, it's starting to get that look on radar, bro. Yeah, it's starting to look good. I'm just going to drop south to the east side and then, like, if I have to shoot back west towards it, then it is what it is. I'm just going to make sure I'm on my way. Yeah. I'm due north of it. I'm due north of the couplet, so I got I know I got to get east. I'm trying to get out and get a, around the hail because that hail is going to be a big problem. Yeah. That hail is huge. That's a just big again. time hailer. Jason in front of McKinney on the phone, also on the storm. We're just, we're just coordinating here on how to best and most safely attack the supercell. Good evening, it's everyone. It's on the boundary. You can see the boundary at radar. Might be its own outflow. Yeah, it's its own outflow, but I still like the way that looks. And yeah, by the way, guys, as well, this is Connor Croft on the phone. Storm chaser Connor Croft. And he's just on the east side of the storm right now. We're on the north side. Yeah, it's just it's St. Louis, man. What are you supposed to do? Like, there's just like, <laughs> it's just what are you supposed to do with St. Louis, bro? Yeah, the good news is the road network in Illinois. There's so many good new beast options, so we can stay ahead and chase. Facts, this. facts. Yeah, I'm gonna drop south on uh, the center thing coming up. Dude, I, I almost want to drop south, like, to, like, town and, what is that called? Town and country? <laughs> yeah, no, I know what you're talking about. Like, that seems like a good spot to be right now. Just, I want to get east and get on that southern interstate. All right. So, so dude, I just fear that, I don't know, like, I'm just more, I think I'm just more cautious overall. I just to keep the chase going. It's just like, there's big hail. Yeah, if we get stuck in a traffic jam and that thing hails us out, we're screwed. Yeah, pretty much. Good thing is I don't see anything tight on radar, but just from a reflectivity standpoint, you can just tell it's trying to do stuff. Yeah, it's definitely trying to take its main flow before it. I mean, it's just pure outflow, but yeah. now it's trying to take in a little inflow and make it a little bit more interesting, Chad. Please get to the east side, get, get to Illinois before you do anything. Yeah, I don't think it's going to do anything right now, just looking at it, but I just like how it's, it has a favorable shape. It's still it's like a hailer but... Yeah, for now it's a hailer, but the fact that we got a discrete supercell as the low-level jet should be ramping up is... Yeah. We, our tornado threat should increase, I think, with time. Love, love, love the look, love the look. Yeah, this is, this is kind of... Dude, that uh, storm in the jungle west is a kind of a unit of an upper level. Oh, big, big time CGs now. Yeah, the, there's a unit over there in the jungle. It's just, that's the problem. <laughs> yeah. I'll be honest, I'd rather be on Dude, this one yeah. right now. The textbook looking supercell. I like our storm better now. Yeah. Like, like I said, I think if one goes to the other one. Yeah, exactly. I mean, they're both in a very similar environment plus that western one is going to start getting like it's going to be in the environment or this storm should be leaving outflow out that the west one either it's going to ingest or just kill like it's going to affect the western one somehow yeah yeah not uh, sure how that's going to work out but this one's probably the one hopefully the one yep but hopefully not the one until after they yeah just 
Get out of St. Louis, buddy. Alright, sounds good, man. Okay, so, yeah, guys, like uh, Connor's seeing the same thing that I was seeing. Um, storm's looking a little better to find now. Picking up on uh, some rotation. It's making an attempt at tightening up. It's making an attempt, and it's steadily looking better. So right now, our mission right our mission right now is to successfully maneuver St. Louis. First and foremost, get through St. Louis. That's what we're trying to do right now. I'm hoping we don't have to contend with much traffic. So far, we've been in good shape, but it's only time will tell how long that's going to last. Plus, we've got you know precipitation moving into the metro area that can always lead to accidents and stuff like that. So, try to make it through. Big time CGs. Oh, dude, it's got a hook. Wow, it's big time thunder there too. Guys, it's, it's starting to develop a hook on radar. It's starting to get that hook shape. I'll show you what it's looking like. Go to the full map real quick. Hopefully this works. It's developing a hook on radar, guys. Appreciate you, Big Pedro. Thank you for that. There's the radar, guys. Let's switch back to, uh, whoops. Back to our severe thunderstorm warning screen. Thanks for becoming a member. Welcome back. Welcome back. I know you were gifted a member before, so thank you for rejoining. But like I said, I apologize, guys, for not really being able to uh, monitor chat, really. But just let you know, we're in St. Louis, north side, north side of the metro area. We're cutting through on I-70 here, and our plan is to get east and drop south in front of this intensifying supercell thunderstorm that's developing a little stronger rotation now, so that is the game plan. Thanks for the five gifted members. Everybody thank Paige for the memberships there. Big shout out to Paige. W Paige, guys. ourselves a giant supercell moving into St. Louis. If you're in St. Louis, specifically uh, Southern, I'm pretty pretty much just St. Louis. Big time hail, guys. Big time hail coming into the St. Louis Metro. 
window smashing hail with this storm. Which is why we have to be very careful we execute our, our, uh, our approach on this. What's up? Tornado horn? Yeah. Dang. Yeah, it is. Oh my gosh. Dude, look at the couplet on that thing. Yeah. Oh, man. Why has that got a couplet on it like that, bro? That's, I mean, that's mid levels. That is mid levels, but still, that's a strong mid level couplet. I think we just gotta stick with our storm, man. Yeah, probably. It's, it, it's, it's been looking better and better. It's got like a hook on it, so. Yep, I agree. For now, anyway. If something changes, it might just turn around and go back, but. Yeah, we're gonna wait for on the east side of things. Are you stopped right now? No, I'm trying to find a place to stop. Gotcha. Starting to get to that slower traffic now, so that's not good. I never got any traffic. It's just because of the rain, I think. People are just slowing uh -oh. way down. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm hoping to get east of this. I feel like I'm going to be up here, Chad. Ah, dude. Okay, well, it's tornado warning back to the to the west. So this thing still has got like a giant hook on it, though, like just a big old. Yeah, I mean, like I don't need to look. I do. I wonder what this thing looks like from afar. It might have a strong mesocyclone too, just mid level. I can see it. I can see it in blue now. Good. Okay, well, that's a good sign. In, in the mid level over like St. Louis right now. Okay. I mean, I'll be honest, this thing almost looks like the other one. Like, they almost look the same to me. I just think we're looking at it just a lot closer on radar, so. Yeah, could be it. Let's see, that's the new airport radar duty scan look like. Yeah, it's got a huge hook, man. Huge LP hook. Big time hook on this thing, chat, so. Oh, wow, it might be ramping up right now. It is. Yeah. T-Radar, that T-Radar. That T-Radar looks uh, guys, our store might be ramping up. Right into St. Louis. Wow. Okay, I see that now on the K radar. I see what it's looking at there. I just didn't yeah, know that was what it was doing. Wow, that's the heat, dude. Why? Just wait until you're out of the city, man. Exactly. Because now, I shoot west. I'm going to have nowhere to turn around. You just have to go. Dang it, at some point I'm about to drop south on this thing, I bet. If it goes tornado warn. Yeah. Yeah. Just got the risk it for the biscuit. Ooh, that looks nasty. Right in the same Ah, dude. This is like the worst case scenario, guys. If this actually oh, ramps up. So bad. For oh, everyone. Really Hopefully it does not ramp ask. up. Good ask for anything, uh. We'll go back to mute for a little bit. Okay. But I'll, I'll be here still. You got it. Yeah. Alright, bye. Alright, guys. Are, oh my gosh. Okay, we're starting to get a visual, chat. We're starting to get a visual. I think we're starting to get a visual on this thing. Top 
what's strengthening on radar, on that T radar. Got a blast east. Almost there, guys. I'm starting to gain a visual on this. You're in St. Louis. Heads up. Heads up, guys. Big time supercell coming in. Tornado potential looks to be increasing. I wouldn't say nothing's imminent, guys. As far as I can tell, I don't think anything's imminent, but uh, just be on the lookout. I think a tornado could be possible sometime soon on this storm if things continue to trend the way they are right now. So just heads up, folks. Heads up. We just got a blast east. show you guys what, what it looks like out the side window, but I can't do that right now. I cannot do that right now. Yeah, pretty decent couple there to our south, guys. Right on the interstate there. We might have to start looking at a way to get south. If things keep trending. If things keep trending this way. We might have to look at something to the south and find a route that will take us ahead of this thing. I just don't know how aggressive I want to get in the metro area, guys. It's now, and we're, we're not out in the plains. We're in the, we're in the metro area, so it just makes things a lot more difficult here. Couplet's uh, strengthening further now near Chesterfield. Just southwest of Chesterfield. Hopefully this does not tighten up in the St. Louis metro, but it's, it's trending that way, guys. No tornado warning yet, but be on the lookout. Guys, I got a wall cloud. I got a wall cloud. I got a visual of a wall cloud now to my south. Got a wall cloud, chat. Metro chasing. Gotta love it. Gotta freaking love it, guys. We're getting ahead of it, though, chat. We're getting ahead of this thing.
good thing is, still nothing tight, guys. Still nothing tight on the radar. Uh, yeah, yes and no. Like, uh, like I, I, I was, I looked over, I saw what looked like a wall cloud. I saw, I saw what looked like a wall cloud to me. But I really just can't look that way, man. <laughs> if, if that makes sense. Like, traffic's freaking insane right now. Like, I'm just, I gotta stay locked in. I got visual just like the, 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 the broad supercell structure. Yeah. It looks really interesting, their Chesterfield. It's like, yeah. It, there's a, like a small. It's not strong, but it's it's slightly tight there. Like it's it's interesting. I think it's going through a cycle though. What what's the uh, what's the western one looking like? Is there any like thing pressing on that one, or just a big hailer still? Okay, good. Alright, maybe I could get a visual up here when I turn right. I might be able to kind of get like a slight visual here. There's so many buildings, man. <laughs> Holy crap, dude. I have successfully sliced my way ahead of this thing. I'm, I'm in front of it. I'm ahead of the hail core now. I think it's gonna track along 70. No, but there's an area of traffic in East St. Louis that I'm not trying to get in. If I, if I take that. Wait, where do you where do you see this traffic? It might only be uh, it's literally in East St. Louis. It might only be for westbound. Okay. Just an area of red that I'm not trying to get in. I think that is fair. I'm just gonna take 70 here and just hope for the best. I, it doesn't yeah. say there's any thing yet on my route, but I'm hoping it's just avoiding the main, like, okay, guys, maybe there's an exit up here, why are we going 50 in the fast lane, dude? There's stronger rotation now on the T radar. Like it's not tight, but it, that the inflow is strengthened. Yeah, I do see that again. All right. See, I'd be fine going into the city, but I knew I could turn around at any point easily. I'm almost due east of it now, dude. I wonder if I should take the uh, the northern route. Should I go all the way down to the mid middle of St. Louis route, or should I take the northern? To me, it looks like it's lifting north, but I don't know. Yeah. There's an exit up here where I can take it up towards. Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna take seven. I'm just gonna take seventy, just directly seventy through St. Louis. It's like there's some areas I can just turn around and get back on the highway. That's what I'm most concerned about. Are you diving back west? Yeah, I'm going back west. I like, I like that new. Uh, Rotation. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to figure out my routes right now. Actually, technically, I could take... I should have taken that interstate right there. I could have dropped right down. I might just drop right down into the actual just metro area and see what happens. Oh, like, right into the heart of it. Only the last second, red. Tornado warning, chat. Tornado warning? Yeah, just, just got tornado warning, guys. All right, guys, we're, we're gonna go in. Going in from the west. I gotta find a route. I gotta find a route, guys. I think, I think I'm just gonna swing. Maybe all the, uh, dude, I should, I should just turn around, honestly, bro. I might 
might just want to turn around and go down there. for the win guys I'm, I'm gonna flip around here guys we're going back in going back. we're going back okay well that's oh we got in a tornado worn storm guys I'm gonna go back to mute yep. for a little bit. All right, yep. All right be back. All right, guys, we're we're gonna turn. We're gonna hit the interstate back west. There's an interstate that drops south that we're just gonna see what we can do. We'll see if we can run it south. It didn't. I didn't see any traffic on it. Um, we're just gonna do a U-turn here. We're gonna take this interstate south. Hopefully, we're gonna dodge that hail. It looks like we're actually chilling on the hail front. I would say. Brother, just, just send it, bro. Just send it, bro. Tightening up, guys. It's tightening up on radar. We might have a tornado trying to develop here in the St. Louis metro. So, you guys are just now tuning in. We got a tornado warn storm here in the St. Louis metro area. This is a extremely dangerous situation. Um, this is kind of worst case scenario. Hopefully this thing does not touch down. We need to get over. We need to get over. So we're not going 50 miles an hour anymore, like a brother. <clears throat> but we got to get to this road up here that will take us south. Us over, work us over. Tornado sirens are now going now. Tornado sirens are now blaring here in St. Louis. I think everybody's starting to panic now because of this tornado warning. So, got to watch out for people panicking and crazy drivers. So yeah, guys, make sure to share the stream too. If you know anybody that's in the St. Louis area, let them know. Let them know. We got a visual, guys. Look at that. Big time supercell guys coming into St. Louis right now. We gotta get to the left lane here because our exits, our exits in the left lane. Left lane exit, guys. Big time supercell coming into St. Louis. Increasing here. We got to exit up here. We got to drop south. Dangerous situation here for the St. Louis metro area. Really hope this thing doesn't drop. I don't see anything tight yet. I don't see anything tight yet, guys. Gotta get around this guy. He's going way too slow. Dude. 
There it is, chat. You can see it. Please get over it. Please get over it. Get over it. Get over it. Alright guys, we're getting into position here. It's gonna be right there. It's gonna be right there, chat. It's gonna be hard to find an angle on this thing, but we're dropping into the notch. Tornado warning includes downtown St. Louis. I think it's gonna be pretty close to downtown St. Louis. interest is probably right right in the middle of the screen <laughs> gotta fix my eyes so 2000 2000 on the eye so area of interest is probably right there chat we just got to get a better angle on it Gotta better get a better angle on it. Okay, good thing is circulation is kind of loosened up here a little bit. Circulation's kind of loosened up on radar. I think it's going through a cycle, but still definitely be on the lookout for a tornado here. Let's see if we can get, there we go, there's the wall cloud, guys, right? Yeah, right, should be right there. If I can orientate myself correctly here, it should be right there. Okay, so I'm just gonna route us now that we're going this way, I'm going to put Fairview Heights in again. But we're going to look for any sort of like exits where we can kind of get off. Yeah, right there, guys. Oh my gosh, what is that, bro? What is that? Looking mighty suspicious there, guys, right there. Middle of the screen, watch that area. We got a little wall cloud there. facing away from a for a little bit. You guys are just now tuning in. Make sure to smash that like button. Make sure to drop a like on the stream. That helps. Uh, that helps the algorithm out. Helps spread the word. So we want to we want to get this stream out to as many people as possible here. guys. We're due east of the circulation. We're due east of the circulation, guys. Left here in 
six miles, so. St. Louis Metro Tornado Chase. So I think our plan here, yeah, guys, sorry, you just, I just kind of have to lock in on roads and everything right now and just really, really lock in on that. I think what we're going to do is we're going to take the interstate back east, then maybe north. It looks like it's lifting kind of north, guys. To me, it looks like it's kind of so we're going to try to get back out ahead of it. I've got a route that'll get us up that way. Our exit's up here, so we're going to have to take it east. We, we kind of have to take unconventional routes here to stay on this thing. You know, at times we have to drive away from it. But good thing is we were in there. We did not see a tornado. We did not see a tornado in there, but... Definitely saw a big rotating wall cloud. When we turn here, we might get a really good visual to our north. Unclear what it looks like to the north, but we might get a really good visual to the north here. Let's see. You guys can tell me what you're seeing, but I can't look. Hopefully you guys are seeing something up there. That's looking back into this tornado-worn supercell here. Gotta get east, guys. We got. I think we got. We got to cross the river. We got to cross the Mississippi. in on roads chat I'm gonna stay locked in on roads here I've got a great view guys great view here I mean we can look at the top look at the top of that look at the structure up there sculpted it's almost like a mothership I, I would I wouldn't go as far as saying it's a mothership but that's the top end of the structure we can't see on the low end because well we got trees and buildings and all sorts of things but guys there's another look brief look brief look and then we're back into the uh, the concrete
so we're just working our way through the metro we're working our way through the metro guys so good view here guys brief view back at the storm and then we're okay now we're now we're going down to the this is this is downtown st louis guys so we're getting down to, into the downtown zone here so Put us on the top bridge, please. Please, so let me get a better view. There's the arch. We might get a shot of the arch and the tornado worn supercell. Dude, there's so much traffic. Yeah, I wonder if that's Connor, bro. There's no way. That Connor? No, no, it's just I don't think it is. Is it? No, 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 no. it's a Camry. No, it's a red Camry. Okay, I was like, I was, saw the Camry and I was like, oh, maybe it's Connor. I was like, no, it's not Connor. I know Connor's around here somewhere, guys. Metro area here. Hopefully, once we get through here, we can get some good looks at this storm, guys. It's cycling right now. It's definitely cycling right now, guys. So, basically, what that means is, is the. Uh, uh, the, the circulation is trying to do a handoff and it's trying to develop somewhere else. That's, that's what I believe is happening right now. So We just got to get to the other side of the river and blast north. And get back into the notch. town did I put up there? I put a town up there somewhere. Alright guys, here's the arch in a second. I might be able to show you guys. Might get a shot of the arch with the uh, with the storm. There we go.
watch out for the crazies, guys. There's some crazies out here on the road. They just drive super aggressive, like just whipping from corner to corner, you know, whipping across three lanes of traffic. You just gotta be careful. Just give them distance and hope that they don't crash into you. Whoa! Did you guys see that, chat? You guys see that? That was some wicked looking spider lightning there. Holy cow. All right, welcome to Illinois, guys. Welcome to Illinois. Road could use a little re repave. All right, so this is take me up like that. Yeah, that works. That works. That works. Left lane ends. Perfect. Hey, look, it's our our friend who is driving like a complete maniac, and we're just right next to him. You end up in the exact same place without having to like nearly crash. All right, so we're gonna head north, chat. We're gonna head north, and we're finally gonna get out ahead of this thing. We're, re we're gonna be able to give you guys a good look at this supercell. I, I know you guys have been patiently waiting for a good opportunity to look at this thing, but we're gonna try to get north on it and give you guys a look. I mean, there's some of it right there. There's the edge of it. We've kind of gotten far out ahead of it now. Let me just make sure this thing is routing us to where I want it to route us. Yeah, I want, I want it to route us up to like... Yeah, kind of up, up to like Edwardsville or something. Something like that. Just get us up there closer to it so we can give you guys a nice look at it. Excuse me, chat. There's a nice look. Still tornado warned, although I believe that's probably going to get dropped here soon, but this is still tornado warned here. We got a nice look of it. We got, we got east of it. giant landfill here, I believe is what that is. So we're not going to be able to look at it here for a second. exact same thing you saw, probably slightly different angle. Dude, with a freaking mother hit. Like, I know, dude. Incredible. I just had to like, I had to do a lot of driving, so like I just couldn't really film it, but Yeah, I know. Right now I'm up by I'm heading, I don't know bro, I'm east, I'm east of the river I'm heading north, I'm trying to get ahead of it dude. Yeah, I'm just trying to get to Granite City and come up from the south. So I think it's trying to cycle again. Yeah, I, I concur. I'm trying to... I, I have Edwardsville in my GPS right now, so I'm just driving to Edwardsville. Yeah, dude, this is so terrible. Chasing this thing in the city. That would have been so insane if this thing were just a cycle <laughs> open plains of Illinois. Yeah, no doubt, dude. Hey, there's a lowering back there in the middle At least we're heading that way. Yeah, it's going to be dark, but I don't know the we're, we're heading that way, so... Uh, yeah, I mean, 
what? Wait, what time does it get dark again? I mean, it'll be dark, dark by like uh, 8, 8, 15, 8, 30. 8, 15, 8, 30, okay. So we still got time. Like that it's like dark, dark though. We still got time to, if this thing were to do something, we could, you know, it's, it's, it, the window is well, closing, it. but. If there's a lowering, it's like in the hail though now. Like, I see the lowering. Yeah. No, it's looking, it's looking good to me right now. I'm about to take the, inter, the interstate, like, whatever that interstate is, 255 due north, and then I'm hoping to have a much better shot back into it. Okay. So. I just got to get up to 270. Yeah. Let me see about my route. I'm not so sure about my route. Need more of I don't like the area. It's going to have me get off. But... Let's see. I probably need to plug my phone in. <laughs> Let me see. Yeah, it's not too bad. Not too bad. I can stay on the highway, but I have to go way far away from this So it seems like it's moving pretty quickly right now. Yeah, it seems like it's moving again. Which probably means it's, you know, cycling or, or something, but... Yeah. It should slow down if it starts to actually do something. Right. Here it is, Interstate 270, take this north, and then it should be big chilling. Hopefully Granite City's a nice town. I mean, I don't think it could be any worse than downtown St. Louis, bro. Like, I, like, literally just have, like, concrete walls and stuff, like. Yeah. Salisbury Avenue looks rough, but gotta do what I gotta do. It's giving us time to, if, if it's going to do something, it's giving us time to actually, uh, you know, maneuver on it. Yeah. So, which is nice of it, but. Very, very friendly of it to do for us. Yeah, it's, it's, a nice, it's a nice storm. Like, it's being nice to us. Except for the St. Louis part, that's not nice. Yeah. Wow, dude, that looks kind of wild right now. I know. I got a great yeah. shot, like, straight out my side window. Just gonna run that for a while. Does the light turn freaking green, bro? Oh, there's this red light. I was that one earlier that was like three minutes long. Dude, what about this go? This is ridiculous. Look at that. It's actually insane. Whoa! That was a gnarly CG and like spider lightning. Really? Yeah. Dude, that was, it was of course it's when I'm the, my camera is out my side window and not facing forward, but so it goes. I think we'll take the structure over a random lightning bolt right now. Back to the trees, guys. That guy just dropped a cigarette at me. Across the river, doesn't see anything on the ground just now. This will be a good view, channel. This will be a good view. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna go back to mute for a little bit. All right, all right. But it sounds like we're we're doing the same thing. <laughs> yep. All right, I'll, I'll I'll see you in a bit, bro. So guys, we're headed north, uh, heading up toward, was it Edwardsville right now? I think is where we're headed, is Ed yeah, Edwardsville is where we're going right now. So we're just trying to get in a good position out ahead of this uh, this supercell to see if it's going to uh, wrap back up again or do something interesting here. Um, it doesn't look as impressive as it did over St. Louis, but still looking interesting by the way guys thanks for smashing that like button I see I saw we got up to a thousand likes so thank you guys for doing that I appreciate you all right 
so I'm going to find a, a place where we can hopefully watch this thing. I'm going to try to find a good spot, guys. I'm going to try to find a good spot where I can actually get off the road and show you guys what this thing's looking like. We're finally on the other side of St. Louis here. Even like a little, like, kind of almost like wall cloud or something right there. See that, guys? Got a great view. Look at the structure on it, Chad. It's got some wacky stuff going on here. Oh, another big CG. Okay, so beautiful angle here. I mean, I'd love it if we could just pull off right here somewhere, but there's not really a spot, so I'm just gonna have to uh Need the far right lane, guys. So we gotta get behind the, was that a camper or something? I'm gonna try to find a good spot where you guys can watch this thing. I'm gonna get up to this next exit, flip back around, and we should hopefully have a good angle. exit up here guys we'll flip back around and hopefully we get a nice view of this supercell thunderstorm still has a tornado warning on it still has a tornado warning on it interestingly enough so still got a tornado warning on it so we're just gonna get up here our exits here in half a mile back around and take a look at this thing. There's also Supercell back to the same one that was off to our west. Well, it's still back there, so. Just look like an area where we can maybe see something. Maybe if we go up. Maybe we take a, just, wait, maybe if we take a right? try taking a right, maybe. Yeah, I'm gonna try taking a right, guys. Just gonna see what we can do. I think we can maybe find an angle here where we can see this thing. There's some flat here, kind of like some farmland, so I'm trying to get us to a spot where we can get a nice vantage point, maybe here at this gas station. Let's see, what is there a street here? There's a street here. I go a little further. Might be a little pull in up here that we can take. Ooh, right there though. That was a nice spot. I'm gonna go a little bit further and see if we can find an angle here where we can kind of just watch this thing for a little bit.
here we go. Nice, flat, open spot here where we can hopefully just kind of take a look at this thing. I don't know where this goes, it just goes into this thing. So I just Yeah, it's a turning lane, but where are we turning, buddy? Like there's no place to turn here, so I'm just gonna sit here and get a nice view of this guys. We got a nice view of the supercell here. It's still still tornado warned, okay. Still tornado warned, guys. So I'm just gonna hop out here real quick, show you what's going on. So I don't think the tornado warning should still be on this thing. It's probably canceled right now, but we got some interesting structure here. Interesting structure here on the, we're, we're just to the southeast of it right now. Take a look at that right there. There's some striations feeding into this thing. Oh, dude, I just missed the nicest bolt, guys. L, L cameraman here. I just missed like a beautiful lightning strike right in the frame, but this is the sow here. It just passed through St. Louis. This this uh, was tornado warned when it went through St. Louis. Tried to tighten up. Right now, things do not look quite as promising on this, but it has some beautiful structure on it. So we're just gonna kind of sit here for a little bit and watch this thing. So just a beautiful storm. Hopefully we can get another CG here because every time I move the camera, there's just like a nice bolt that lands. So. Maybe I should pretend to look away. And when I look back, there'll just be a bolt. It's scared of me now. Now that I'm looking at it, it does not want to put a bolt out. Oh, dude, it's so close. Come on, drop a bolt. Drop a bolt. Uh, let's hop back in here for a second. I'll just get the, uh, can keep the stream pointed through the car here. I still have a tornado warning on it, interestingly enough, guys. Still got a tornado warning. That thing back to the west is still looking pretty gnarly. Chat, so that cell to the west, I mean, if it gets... Man, we, we gotta keep an eye on that thing. Gotta keep an eye on that cell to the west, guys. I'm going to switch it back to the Severe Thunderstorm Warning tab. Because it has moved out of the tornado. It's still got a tornado warning on there, but it's moved out of the warning. How are you guys doing? I can actually kind of read some messages here while we're facing this uh, this storm. How are you guys doing in chat?
Let's see, let's see how you guys are doing. Good. Good. You guys are at somebody asked. Let's see. Aaron asks, how are you? I'm doing good. Doing a little bit tired. A little bit tired. I'm trying to get a little re-energized, but that's great to hear, everybody. Looks like Donald's nearby. I'm, wa I'm waving at you, Donald. Good to hear you, Jen. So look good now, guys. I think I, I think I might have fixed it. It's back behind me right now. Somebody's parked back over there. I don't think that's crazy because I was just sitting here watching that supercell to the west. That's got like a nice hook echo and a circulation. I just say send it, bro. I don't want to go back and deal with St. Louis again. I think of anything I want to the do good thing life. is, is I'm we're right on that northern route, so it wouldn't be as bad. Yeah. I mean, if you're where I'm at, I'm like at Glen Carbon or something, bro. I'm uh, Glen Carbon. Okay, I'm like twenty. Actually, I'm probably like five miles. I'm in Namowski, Namoki, right on the highway. Oh, I see that. Yeah, you're just like a hair bit west of us right now, or west yeah. of me. <laughs> The SPC, the, the, this, this storm right here is the one, but... The one we're on? What'd they do, throw a mezzo on it? There's an MD, and it said, uh... Maturity percentage is 100 moving to the St. Louis Burbs. Another supercell, Jefferson, Portisti Rich Environment along the warm front should support a tornado threat. Uh, this one's cooked, bro. Peak tornado probabilities in South Central Illinois. Really? That's what they said. I think the one we're on right, I mean, I could be wrong. Is there any shot that this thing goes? Because right now I'm looking at it and the base has gotten like way off the ground. It's falling apart from what I can tell. The base may or may not be at 6,000 feet. Yeah, I, I don't really think that this is going to do anything. The west one has a couplet, bro. Like, it does. It has a couplet. I just, <laughs> yeah, I know the dilemma, you know, like, do you go back west or to O'Fallon? I mean, what's what's the right decision? You probably do because you know Storm Chaser, right? That one like that one doesn't look like that one looks dumb too. Although in a way, like I almost wonder if the one like it almost looks like it's doing what ours is already doing. So I just wonder if we just stay on ours here and then maybe there's a chance that it could somehow like reorganize, you know? Yeah, I mean they severe just severe warned ours. Yeah. Not even tornado possible. I'm not gonna go back. I'm not gonna go back, bro. There ain't no way, bro. I just found like a like a, the weirdest road here, where it's just like, it's just like a it's like a two lane road, but there's like nothing that it goes to. So I just parked on it. <laughs> I'm just sitting in the parking lot of uh, Marty's. Just trying to. I mean, this this storm is freaking like cool looking. No doubt about that. Yeah, I'm gonna get a little bit ahead of it, I think. Here. Yeah, I'm starting to fall behind, so. Are you gonna, what are you gonna do? Take. I don't even, can't even tell which way it's really moving anymore. Uh, it's moving like, you know, we're thinking it'll take 55 or 70. Mm, that's a good question. I'd probably take 55. Yeah. Yeah, I'd probably take 55 and then maybe find a road up there. I mean, at least you could get out in the country somewhere and you could actually, like, pull off. <laughs> so. Right. I'm looking at... Here, hold on. hold on a second, Connor. Okay. Hey, Proxima, thank you for the super chat. I really appreciate that. Yet again, another super chat, so thank you for your support today, Proxima. Helping fund this storm chase. Thank you so much. And we're going to keep chasing, and we're going to try to see if we can... Uh, we can get something out of here. The Storm Prediction Center seems to be acting like uh, 
like something may happen here. So we're going to stay on this thing. Okay, you still, still there? Yeah, I'm here. Okay. I'm getting back on the interstate because, I mean, I gotta do something, so. Oh, well, it's my zone now. Like, the only area that is uncapped is the area that this storm is moving into. Yeah, I'm just gonna put something out ahead of this. Wait, wait, 70 drifts north though, doesn't it? It, it might make more sense, but I don't know how north this storm's moving, so... I don't know. I'm going to get on the highway, too. I'm going to stick with this one. Somebody told me to go to the hotel across the street, and I can buy some meth. <laughs> okay. So, that's a, I guess that's the area I'm in right now. Okay. I, I'm on my way. <laughs> yeah, you want in on this, bro? I'm, yeah, I'm I mean, sure. I, can't, I can't miss out. Like, what do you mean? Yeah, I was about to say, I mean, I can wait for you, bro, before I go in. All right, please wait for me. Please wait for me. Good. <laughs> All right, yeah, I'm going to... I'm gonna get on 70 here, and then when I get to 55, I guess I'll make my decision. But the yeah, area, I'm gonna take 55 up to like Hamill, and then I'm gonna take that east west highway. <laughs> yeah, I think this is like the only real big tornado chance is if this reroutes and turns right again because it's uncapped. If this reroutes the tornado, yeah, I mean. It's gonna have to do that, which is hard, but it, yeah. I'm looking at it on the radar. It's still clearly a supercell. It's still got, oh, yeah. you know, a look to it. So it, I, I think it's possible. I think it's possible. So. Oh, wait, I see the dying mezzo. Hey, look at this, Chad. Uh, let me change the camera. Right there. That's literally the dead mesocyclone that is no longer even like attached. <laughs> Not even like. We'll have to see if this thing can make a new mesocyclone, guys. The dead mesocyclone. See if we can make a new one. Looks like after it's shredding its old right. one right now. So there it is. I'm gonna turn down Connor there for a second, but uh, yeah, I, I tend to uh, I tend to agree with the idea of just sticking with this storm for now. But I just we'll see, okay. we'll see, we'll stick with it. Always double back, I guess. If it makes you feel any better, bro. There is not a severe thunderstorm warning in southeast Oklahoma right now. Not a single one? Yeah, I just looked for the first time. Oh, wait, there's a tornado. Wow. Wow, there's a huge mesocyclone in northern Oklahoma. Is there actually? Yeah, like, well, there's a tornado warning. It doesn't look nice on the ground, but I, that's, like, looks dangerous. In the one spot yeah. where we didn't think it was going to happen. That That's so embedded, bro. That's, like, it's crazy. Yeah. I don't know, bro. I'm glad I'm not there, though. I'll tell you that. <laughs> if I were to go up to southeast Oklahoma and there might be a storm during daytime and then I had to drive to Ohio, that might have been the end of my storm chasing career. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe, guys. Let's see. Uh, oh, oh, it looks that like my, down. my dad's in the chat. What's up, dad? I may have just thrown the towel in. That happened. All right, Chad, we're going to stick with this. Okay, I'm, I'm going to... Yeah, I'm a mute too. I'm a mute too. But we'll we'll meet up. Yep. All right, bye. What's up, Dad? Actually, I might call my dad. I'm gonna call my dad, so I'm gonna leave the call. All right, sounds good. But I'll call you back a little bit. Good idea to talk on 
this corner and then we'll get back to running. I just got your message there. Um, I didn't see much as that supercell tracked through St. Louis there. There was a wall cloud, but I didn't see any funnel or any uh, like tight rotation as a track through there. And we're still on that storm as it's tracking into Illinois, but right now there's not really anything low to the ground. It's a little bit elevated, but we're going to keep tracking it as it heads northeast and see if it can maybe reroute. Doesn't send a Zello if you're on your phone. Because I'm pretty sure Ryan tried to send that message earlier when we were on the tornado warn storm, but I never got it, which is a little bit weird, so. Anyway. Got it later though. a good view guys sorry I did not realize we had such a good view of this cell here but there you go I got a nice I got a nice framed right in the center there nice shot of this cell from the south I'm gonna turn down the, uh, the lights here trying to get those reflections down Nice view of the base here. Appreciate that, Mark. Coffee time. I might have to get a coffee. I might have to get a coffee. I'm going to try to hold out, though. I'm going to try to hold out for the rest of the night, but I'll use that tomorrow. Tomorrow morning, I'll use that for a coffee. Unless we got to keep chasing tonight. I'm not sure how long we're going to keep chasing. So if it keeps going, then maybe. There, the Hamel. Just gonna see what this thing's got. And 
Thanks, Big Yam, for the super chat there. Appreciate that. Dang, can I have a chocolate chip cookie? Man, that's, that sounds so good right now. That sounds so good right now. Okay. I'm going to get up to this exit chat three miles. And then I'm going to pull off, so... I think I've figured out that if you are on the phone, the Zello's, I mean, I guess that makes sense. I just never thought about that. The Zello communications don't come through, so Ryan was trying to get a hold of me, and he did not get a hold of me because I was on the phone. I didn't know that that was a thing, but now we know. So I'll try to stay off the phone when we're on a tornado warning storm. Appreciate the Dakota kid. Thank you. Yeah, thanks for the support, everybody. Today on the stream, it's been uh, it's been incredible. You guys are awesome. So, guys help make this happen. Every uh, every contribution, big and small, is greatly appreciated. And. Even you guys just watching the stream that helps too. So just appreciate you guys. Thanks to the thanks to the, the other super chat there, Dakota Kid. I'm get off on this exit up here, and then hopefully give you guys a good vantage point on this storm. Got a little gas station going on up here as well, so. Take a look at just kind of the uh, the total. Just look at everything, see what's going on. Let's see how do I get over to that? Let's see. We're still right on this cell, guys. For your super chat there opposite and mark appreciate that Let me get in here real quick to this loves and watch out for the median This, this cell here, so. I'm just gonna get out of this guy's way. I don't know where I'm going here, so. I don't know where I'm going here, guys. I'm just trying to get out of there. There's no, like, parking where I want it to be. Just 
park right here, actually. Park right here for a second. Hopefully we can get a kind of a decent shot here through the window. I just need to see, holy glare, guys. Not ideal. Thanks, opposite. Didn't realize I parked right next to you when I was taking pictures of that diamond. Was that you? Oh, that was you. Okay, I saw you. Yeah, that was... Hey, I didn't know that was you, but there's there's no way. <laughs> I, I knew you were a chaser, though. I, I knew that you had to be a chaser if you were parked there. Yes, thank you, Mark. I'm going to try to find a better angle, guys, because, like, the glare here is, like, over 9,000. So I'm going to try to find a better angle here. Is that parking there? gonna say this is parking there we go I'm just gonna I'm just gonna kind of park in here guys and just give you guys a nice view of this kind of sculpted cell here in fact I'm gonna get out real quick show you guys what it's doing so this is our cell right here nice little LP kind of updraft now let me go to the wide. See this chat? Sorry for the loves and everything being in the way, but there it is. Just a nice little view here of this cell. It's just tracking northeast. Not sure this is gonna do anything to be honest, but we're gonna have to take a look at it here in a second and just kind of see what it's doing. But hop back in here and just kind of investigate things. Switch this thing back to the wide lens because the wide lens is the is the better lens here in this case. Still got that cell back to the west, guys. Still got that cell back to the west. Maybe we should head back west after it. Where is it headed toward? It's headed toward like St. Charles. St. Charles, interesting. Okay, so maybe we'll head back after that. We're gonna go back. Yep. We're gonna go back, guys. We're just gonna try it. I kinda wanted to stop, to be honest, but. Just gonna, we're gonna go back over there and see. It's actually not that far. There's a supercell back to our west, guys. It's it's looking interesting. So I'm gonna head back that way. And see what it's doing. What do you guys think? Just go back after this this cell. I kind of like that one heading towards uh, St. Charles right now. Voicemail. All right, let's try not to leak Connor's phone number. I'm gonna go back west, chat. We're gonna see what this cell is coming into the west side of St. Louis. It just we have to go back into St. Louis, which is not what I was wanting to do, but nothing ventured, nothing gained. It still looks interesting though. 
still looks interesting. So we're going to start heading. I mean, if it starts to look like it's dying, guys, we're going to turn around. But I'm going to start heading back that way just in case it does something. Thank you for the gifted membership there, CC My Playmate. And uh, looks like Ian was the lucky was the lucky viewer that got the membership there. So, congrats there, Ian. doesn't come through, so. Yeah, I heard you talking about that on your stream. Yeah, so I need to make sure I'm not on the phone all the time. Yeah. I didn't know that was a, a thing, so. Especially on a tornado warning, like, yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, the reason I'm on the phone is because we're trying, we're trying to kind of coordinate, you know, and figure out how to work out in St. Louis, but... Yeah, from from now on, I'm just not going to do it that way. All right. Well, you live and learn. Yep. You live and learn, so. I'm, I'm going to head back, uh, <coughs> head back west and kind of see what happens, but, uh. Well, then, in my opinion, that was the right call that you went to St. Louis because there wasn't anything. Yeah, we jumped on it at the right time. Like we we bailed on it, so. But yeah. Anyway, I just wanted to give you like a quick update, kind of what we're doing. And just, I, I wanted to know how you did. How, how did you do, real quick? Did you, did you see anything? Or? No, there really wasn't anything. Mike and I just kind of take care, master. What? No, there, there wasn't anything. So, left early, we're in Rockport right now, so. Yeah. We'll be home by 10.30 at it. Somewhere. That's, that's pretty good, actually. That's, I mean, at least you're getting home. Yeah. If you're not yeah, gonna see anything, anything. if you're not gonna see anything, you might as well get home early. So exactly, Mike. Mike's on his way too. He left the same time. Good. Okay. Okay. Well, sorry, things didn't go well there for your chase, but that's all right. I'm just glad I didn't even go further south or something like that. Definitely. So. Yeah, you got out when you when, at the right time. So anyway. All right. Well. I know you gotta get back on this cell, so we'll up. Uh... Yeah. I think 
go let you go for now, and then uh, maybe I'll get back to you. Maybe, maybe whenever. Yeah. I don't know when I'm ending the stream. To be honest, it could be an, it could right. be an hour from now. It could be three hours from now. I don't even know. So. All right. Well, we'll be we'll be around regardless. All right. Sounds good. I'll, I'll talk to you later. But drive safe. Thank you. You too. All right. Talk to you later. Good work. Thank you. You too. Goodbye. Right. Okay. So yeah, chat. Um, gonna head west toward that severe worn supercell. That's headed toward O'Fallon. Um, just kind of tenant tentatively right now. See so up to up to one point two. Let's go, guys. Okay, Connor's calling me. Yo, everything good? No, I yeah, I missed your call, my bad. Oh, you, no, you're good, you're good. Uh, uh, well, yeah, I think it's no secret that that storm is dead. Um, I'm headed west, or I'm, I'm sort of headed back west right now. Apparently, someone in my chat, to give me a little inside scoop, said that there's some good vantage points across the river in Alton. So that's where I'm headed. Where? Alton. Alton. Where the storm, I'm kind of where the storm is headed, so I'm going to set up shop there. And just kind of watch it come at me. Hopefully, it'll be good lightning and structure. What side of the river is that on? Uh, the east side. Gotcha. Oh, okay. I see that. I see that. It's yeah. Basically, right where my storm's headed. So. Yeah, I'm just gonna try to get like. I don't know. I'm just gonna head west into like yeah. North St. Louis, and then just kind of see if I can find a good area over there. Or, if it happens to tighten up, I'll at least I'll be right over there, so we'll see what happens. Yeah, but yeah, you, you couldn't you'd have to probably torture me before I went back into St. Louis. They just the new tornado warn storms way southwest of St. Louis. So Oh my gosh, Greenfield. What even is that? There's really good there's really good chase terrain down there. I found That's out so that when you're on the phone, Zello doesn't work. So <laughs> Ryan Ryan was trying to get a hold of me, but he couldn't. Oh my gosh, bro! That's terrible. So I feel feel bad about that one, but I legitimately did not know. I just didn't think of. I mean, it makes sense, but I didn't think about that. You know. It, it does make sense. It really does make sense. So I guess from now on, if I'm on something, I'm just going to have to stay off the phone unless it's like brief, you know, it's going to have to be like brief calls instead of like, instead of using the phone as a walkie talkie, bro. <laughs> you need to get a freaking just a radio. Like yeah. Like the good ones. Yeah, maybe. Hey, what is squeaking in the back of my car right now? It's kind of freaking like, out. Stormwater media was like, so you want to hop on the radio? And I was like, oh, I don't have a radio. Like, oh, okay, I guess we could call. So I felt like a loser because I didn't have a radio. They have a radio. Like is that how it works? Like, does it matter where you're at? I don't think. No, I, mean, I, don't, I don't think so. Well, shoot, maybe, exactly. maybe we got to go that route. Yeah, I think we might have to go that route out to the freaking list. Gosh. I guarantee you somebody in chat knows. So. Yeah. Yeah, but I'm just going to. Maybe it'll be something to eat in Alton because I've got a hungry now. Yeah, I never know, never know. Might come back and try to get, like, some Chipotle or something at some point. Yeah. I'm thinking this storm gets across the river and hopefully it lives and I can just start chasing it east. I don't think I'm going to go all the way back home. I'm, like, four and a half hours away from home. I'm already seven. So. Yeah. I think we might as well just split a hotel tonight and just run it that way. Yep. Maybe try and uh, get towards, like, Terre Haute. Yeah, Terre, Terre Haute looks like a good spot. I've stayed there before. Yeah. Yeah, well. Yep. Sounds right. like a plan, man. All what? The, I said, sounds like a plan, man. Yeah. I'll, uh, if you uh, come to Alton, let me know. All right, we'll do, we'll do. I'll, well, I'll let you know what I end up doing. So, anyway, I'll I'll catch you later, man. Break it up. All right, but, I'll, uh, catch you later. Yep, yep good luck. Stay safe. See hey, you, you too, man. Yep. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye-bye. Okay, chat, we're headed west. We're headed west toward 
We're back in St. Louis, our favorite spot. Big Yam, thank you for the, the 10 there to the radio fund. In short, it's a good idea. Okay. Thanks, Big Yam. We'll have to look into that after this uh, after this chase or after tomorrow's chase. By the way, guys, by the way, guys, there is a pinned link. The pinned link at the top is tomorrow's live stream. So just, just give you guys a heads up. Go over there, hit the like button and that notification bell on there if you got the chance. Because tomorrow's stream is going to be a, a can't miss stream. I think tomorrow is going to be a big time tornado event in the Ohio Valley. So things are looking really serious tomorrow. I think uh, strong long track tornadoes are definitely possible. So just not going to want to miss that one. So that's why I have it pinned up there at the top. That's tomorrow's chase. We're still on today's chase. We're headed west after the supercell thunderstorm. That's headed towards St. Charles, uh, St. Charles, Missouri, O'Fallon, Missouri right now. The northern side of the St. Louis metro area is where this cell is heading. It's a supercell thunderstorm. It is producing large hail right now. There is a little bit of rotation on it. It's unclear if this thing has any sort of tornado threat or not, but that's why we're headed west right now. So, and just a just quick update on what we are doing what our plan is and what our plan tomorrow is so let's stick around for now we're gonna head west and see what the cell does if the cell does not do anything guys we're gonna we're gonna probably sign off for the night but if it does do something we're gonna be right on it and if it tries to do anything crazy well that's what we're here for so but thank you uh, mod squad as well in the chat appreciate you guys and everybody's helping us stream today you guys are doing great work. Headed uh, headed west. Back toward the northern side of St. Louis. out of that real quick. Just gonna keep heading west, chat. So guys, has anything else happened that you, you guys know of? Anybody who's been just kind of keeping tabs on the weather elsewhere? Have you have there been any tornadoes anywhere? I know I see a couple tornado warnings, but have you guys seen any tornadoes anywhere? Just curious what you guys have seen today. No, we got on one of the, at least so far, one of the few tornado warning storms. There might be more now. Decent looking one down there in Missouri right now. get a little bit west here see what we can see on this cell not a whole lot Texas had some you say yeah may 
may have been one earlier, but nothing. Okay. Doesn't sound like anything too too crazy has happened, which is good. Which is good news. Glad that that storm that we were on earlier did not drop in the St. Louis area. Because it, it, it tightened up right as it entered the, uh, the St. Louis area there, so... Could have been a lot worse. see some lightning from that storm and just saw a little bit in the distance there so we're getting a little bit closer to it up to altitude maybe that's where that's where connor was going to go up to altitude maybe exit's a point eight of a mile i gotta make a decision if i want to go to altitude or not I'm gonna keep heading west, guys. I like the way it's looking on radar there, actually. That, that's a pretty nice look at the moment. So, I'm just gonna keep heading west. Maybe we can get something. Maybe near St. Charles. I think we're gonna intercept him once he gets near St. Charles. Severe threat continues into the darkness, guys. Continues into the dark, into the night here. Plug in the stream phone here real quick. About to cross over... Not the Mississippi, but it looks like a... Uh, Canal, yeah, it's a canal. Pretty interesting look on radar. Pretty interesting look on radar, guys. It's got kind of an elongated appendage on it. Not quite a hook, I wouldn't call it a hook, but it's got a supercellular shape to it. Well, it is a supercell, so that's why it's got a supercellular shape to it. It does have some rotation on radar. So in theory, this thing still has potential here. Some more lightning beginning to pop out ahead of it. Never know. Maybe it's going to wrap back up again. It's just kind of why we're headed this way. We're headed there just in case.
biggest river in America, United States, Mississippi. Going over it. in Missouri. Try to get a little bit west, a little closer to the cell, and see if we can find a good area to just watch this thing. Where we're at, where are we at in relation to this thing? Chat, we're just gonna get a little bit west here and see what this thing's got. Uh, it's heading towards St. Charles. Pretty close to the St. Charles area. We're about 17 miles to that spot. And let me see if I can scout out a uh, location maybe where we can kind of view this thing. Okay, chat. Who's gonna who's gonna tune into tomorrow's stream too? Just curious who's gonna be uh, who's gonna be watching tomorrow. So type one type one if you're gonna be tuning into tomorrow's stream and, and two if you're not. Just kinda wanna see like how many people we might get tomorrow. I think tomorrow's gonna be a lot bigger than today. Big time potential tomorrow, guys. On 
honestly kind of scared. Kind of scared to see what tomorrow might might bring. there in the chat. Okay, a lot of people. Three for I don't know. That's okay. Yeah, I'll be honest, guys. Uh, not to switch gears here on you, but yeah, tomorrow is a very scary looking threat. Um, I haven't seen a uh, I haven't seen a, a tornado setup that's looked like tomorrow. Now, I have not checked the latest models take this with a grain of salt. We have not checked the new model data. I'm just basing this off of what I looked at late this morning, but late this morning, guys, I was seeing some very, very concerning stuff for tomorrow's risk in Indiana into Ohio specifically. So if any of you guys live out in that area, definitely pay attention to the warnings tomorrow and just stay alert. Very, uh, very concerned. it off here in about four miles and hopefully we can get a look at this storm this supercell here so looks like my chat froze there for a second get back on this thing guys we're getting on this cell here and then See what it's got. If it does anything, we're here. And if not, switch gears to tomorrow. The goal is, is to get a good night's sleep tonight. Because we're going to need it. Should get some food. <laughs> I've had a slice of Casey's pizza and trail mix today. That's what I that's what I've had today. Sorry guys, just kind of down some trail mix. DJ reminded me that I need to eat something, so just chow down some trail mix there. Really good trail mix, by the way. But I think I just saw some of the structure on this storm here, the lightning, so we get down here. See kind of what we're dealing with down here.
got me exiting here in about one mile, so we're going to just kind of see where it takes us. Unfamiliar territory for me. Still severe warned, chat. Still severe warned here. And af afterwards, I think I might look for some Chipotle, honestly, guys. I might, I might, I might go to Chipotle. Just been really craving that. Get a nice chicken. This little chicken burrito. I think it's the. I think I need to get into this lane actually. Okay. All right, getting off here. find a little spot up here somewhere, potentially. We can take a look at this thing. Looks like there might be some kind of farmland stuff up here, so. I don't even know what this is. It's like a little, I guess it's like a little four lane highway thing. area chat. severe thunderstorm warning, so might as well just go ahead and throw that back on. I think we might actually have a really good view of this, guys. I can see, like, forever out here so if, if there's anything to be seen I think we found a good spot potentially at this loves up here what it is here, but just a giant kind of 
giant like warehouses and stuff here, so I'm just gonna flip back around and maybe. Dang it, I thought that was gonna be a good view, guys. Let me let me let me look. Let me look. Is there another angle that we can get here? Maybe if we go. Maybe if we take that road back, possibly. Let's try it. I'm gonna try it, guys. I'm gonna try taking this road. Oh, shoot. Stop sign right there. So fixated on the red light. I didn't even know there's a stop sign there. What's even that stop sign for? Okay. Oh, it's just a weird area, guys. Okay, so I'm gonna take this just kind of up a little bit. I'm gonna see if I can find an angle where we can look back at the cell and see if there's anything to it. Severe warned. Severe warned again. Looks like it's going to pass just toward north here, which means we're on the correct side to be viewing it, but it's kind of a weird. I can't tell if there's a freaking median or what, bro. I just can't see. There we go. I'm just gonna go up here a ways, and then maybe, maybe if I take this road, we're just gonna try the lobs, guys. We're, let's not overcomplicate this. It is so easy to just overcomplicate everything. We probably just have a wonderful view here at the loves. And I'm just like driving around aimlessly like a chicken with its head cut off. It would not surprise me. Let's see if we can find a uh, I think we got maybe an angle here. Are we looking back? Yeah, we're looking, okay guys, we got a, We got an angle here. The cell would be back to the west. And I, yeah. It's there. It's over there. We're just gonna kind of sit here for a moment and just kind of analyze this. Should be coming our way. Should be coming our way. Just trying to catch up on a few things, guys. What's going on in chat here? Freddie, is any any storms near Van Alston, Texas? I not sure where that is, but it looks like there's a big storm down by uh, Dallas Fort Worth right now. If that's in that vicinity, going through like the south side there. So hopefully that helps you yes, to some degree. Yeah, I love the loves. Loves truck stops are the best. My favorite place to stop out storm chasing, like gas station wise, uh, other than maybe Casey's. But I don't know. Casey's has been kind of, kind of mid lately. At least with the, uh, I swear I never get like a good squeegee at a Casey's anymore. So, and the, I feel like the bathrooms are better at Loves. So. I don't know, Loves might actually be beating Casey's now as my favorite gas station. The only thing Casey's has now is really the pizza. Good to see you, Ethan. Welcome in. Yeah, I don't really see a whole lot on this, guys, so...
Whoa, look at that CG though. Hey, we got CG. We got a CG chat, but. Okay. Just doing a deep dive on the, uh, the radar here, guys. And I think, I think she's done. I think she's done. I think we've solved the mystery today, guys. So I think I might, uh, might sign off for the night here, but, uh, so we can focus on tomorrow. Cause tomorrow is looking like a pretty substantial severe weather risk and tornado threat. So Yeah, I don't think I'm up on the Ryan Hall thing. So, yeah. Anyway, okay. Well, guys, I think I'm going to sign off for the for today here, for tonight. Um, but thank you guys for tuning in today. We got on a tornado warned storm. No tornado, but we did get on a tornado warned storm. We successfully stayed out of the hail, which was, uh, that was a win there. But, uh. We're going to have to get ready for tomorrow. Big time severe weather event tomorrow. I think a tornado outbreak is definitely possible. Things go the, the high end way. You know, multiple strong long track tornadoes. I don't want to say the word, but maybe even some violent tornadoes tomorrow as well. So a very, very dangerous day potentially shaping up tomorrow over the Ohio Valley, Indiana and Ohio. We're going to have to rear our head and uh, get ready for that threat tomorrow because... I think tomorrow could be significantly bigger than today. And today was already a pretty big threat, but tomorrow, very scared about the tornado potential over there. So anyway, but appreciate you all for tuning in. Thanks everybody for all the support today on the stream. You know, couldn't do it without you guys. So thanks everybody for sending super chats and Venmos and PayPal's and all that great stuff. Um, so thank you. And everybody who's just been supporting the stream through liking and subscribing, thank you guys as well. And yeah, the stream, that tomorrow's stream is linked at the top, by the way, guys. So make sure to smash the like button on there. Hit that notification bell. It's the pinned comment on there. So make sure to do that. Get ready for tomorrow. Big day ahead of us. Thanks, Mod Squad. Appreciate your help today and everybody that was helping with the stream. And yeah, I think, uh, think that pretty much covers it. So... You guys have a great rest of your night, and we'll be seeing you tomorrow, probably early afternoon sometimes. So, anyway, take care, everybody, and we will catch you on the next one. So, see, I'm just going to wave so I know when the stream's done. Although it might 